right. We live on uh, YouTube, Mel. Come on, man. You got to be in two places at one time. Okay. Hey, we live. Let's do it. What's good, everybody? Which camera am I looking at? Just wave right now and tell me. What... Okay, look at that one. All right. It's all good. All right, folks. Look, as promised, I told you. Man, I feel like, hey, homie, you huge, man. Because, no. look, when I'm out in my daily Not life, me. they all say this to me. Like, hey, what's up with your nephew? And I'll be like, I start laughing. I was like, hey, nephew, be here. I just, hey, just when I was at the store getting the ingredients, mm -hmm. just, I was taking a picture with a lady. She like, hey, look, I'm about to be off work. Did you sell her a cookbook? No, I, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> That's I didn't. what I would have did for sure. All right. So listen, let me let you know uh, how this is working right here. Uh, what's up, everybody? You know, happy Sunday. You know what I mean? Soul food Sunday. Sunday so today we're going to be doing some what? Greens. Uh, we got greens. We got mac and cheese. We got fried chicken. We got beans. We got cornbread, potentially. And whatever else we can find in the pantry, we're just going to have a little fun. Right, uh, right, make right, some right. food for you guys. Our cookbook is back in stock. For those of you on YouTube, I'm looking over here because I'm live on Instagram as well. So uh, apologies for that. Um, but we're looking at like seven different cameras right now. Another one over here. Right. But the cookbook is back in stock. If you buy today, you're getting a signed copy from me and AB. And it's free shipping right now with the code free ship. F-R-E-E-S-H-I-P. Free ship. Free shipping. Signed copy. Get yours today. It's finally back in stock. It's been sold out for you know several months now. It took us a while to get it back in stock. But it's here now. So I'm about to prep the onions and the garlic for the beans. AB's prepping the greens. We got mac and cheese working. Chicken's marinating in some buttermilk. Hey, you forgot the main thing for me, homie. That's that catfish down there. I can't wait to get some of that, too. Yes, sir. It's been a minute. Right, right, right. So to let you guys know, listen, I didn't put all the cameras up today. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be like a really like a fun day. Me and him just moving and grooving in this kitchen. Right? That's it. So listen, I done already washed my greens. This is my third go around. This is my last. So, you know what I mean? So this is basically just water now. You know what I mean? Just making sure that my water is looking good, which it does. So now I'm getting ready to cut and prep. I'm going to use this bowl right here, and we finna roll some greens, folks. Looking forward to so We got ham hock. Oh, ham hock. You can use That's ham hock, turkey, right you know, whatever you're into. If you, if you don't eat pork, turkey's a great substitute. So here they are right here, y'all. Listen, we like to, you know, if you've been following me for a minute, you know, I like to use that. Uh, You like turkey neck. Turkey uh, neck's my favorite. Right, right, right. I, I like usually that. use a combination. Like the, the I feel like that, the neck I think that would that would work. Has the best flavor, and then the drum. To your point earlier, you can get you know the most bang for your buck in terms of uh, uh, yeah, you know maybe. having the protein in there. All right. So, Mitchie, if anybody want to leave a comment, you know, let them in, ask the questions. Now we're gonna be probably cooking for a minute. You know what I mean? Uh, so we go from there. This right here, we got to cook this down because this is like trying to eat your belt. You know what I'm saying? So, look, we got to, you know, cook this. We want to get all of the flavor, right? So, we got to get it nice and soft. So, I'm going to add a little water in here, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting some heat on it. So, while AB's working on the greens, I'm working on the onions and the garlic for some uh, cowboy beans. Basically, like cookout style beans. Can't go wrong with that. It's hot outside here in Vegas. It's going to be like 98 today. So, it's fitting. Probably not the best time to fry some chicken and fish, but we're inside and the AC is cranking in here. What you got the AC on, AB? It's got to be like 64. <laughs> I appreciate it, though, because if you guys know me, I'm having a drink or two, so that's going to warm me up. All is right with the world. All right, next, I'm going to take these hots and get these going. You can Whoa. get the cookbook at bestofbothworldscookbook.com. I need to go ahead and make sure that we, you guys know where to get that. It's also available on my website, MrMakeItHappen.com. Is it on your website, AB? I have, yeah, it, actually it is. It's on my website also. Cool. Right, right, right. So look, I'm not seeing nothing here on the screen right here. So mean? look, you guys, look, I'm going to go around to the back and go ahead and take a look at uh, something. Make sure it's set up right. Yeah, make sure that's all right. All right, so I'm prepping the garlic. Just a real rough dice on the garlic. You can use garlic paste, minced garlic from the jar, whatever floats your boat. Garlic right, powder. There we go. It's just beans, so you don't got to overthink it. Right. Just make sure you get the flavor in there. Ooh, man. Man, that's a lot of greens right here, man. <clears throat> Best of both worlds, cookbook.com for the cookbook. Use code free ship. Oh, I'm going to do these. So you guys talk to me. How many of y'all out there like to have the stem? Like, there's a lot of people out here that like the stem, though, bro. I don't do the stem. Hmm? It just doesn't get as tender. I know I, I probably get crucified for that, but what else is new? <laughs> I like to remove the stem for me. On those greens and the other greens, stems got to go. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Broccoli. All right, onion, <clears throat> onions prep, oh, garlic's man. prep. I'm gonna bring that burner over here oh, I'm doing my dish. and get started on these beans. All right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna put this in between me and you. This trash can. Yeah. So I ain't gotta keep. Good idea. Right, right, right. Thinking with your feet. What right. can I use for the beans? We got something oh. out and ready. So for me, I like to add black beans to my cowboy beans. So you got Bush's beans. We're going to add a little black beans to that too for texture um, and for color. Yeah, that's perfect. What's on the menu, gents? Perfect. We're doing uh, beans, mac and cheese, collard greens, fried chicken, fried catfish, and potentially cornbread, whatever else we can find around here. Almost forgot the most important part of the beans. For the pork patrol out there, we're throwing some bacon in here. If you don't want to do that, you can use ground beef, which is another good option. I like it with the ground beef. Me too. But we're using what we got. That's this like is a cowboy, uh, that an cowboy. impromptu kind of cookout. That's more cowboyish. Or fish fry, chicken yeah, fry. Said, uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, beef short rib. Really? Yeah. And crab legs. Probably those, those two things. If you can give me... If I was on death row, I'd have to have both of those in the mix at some point. What about you? Uh, you know, I like that. Uh, What's your death row meal? Oh, uh, smothered pork chops, man. Going hands out with a bang. Hey, hands down. See, I got to tax them a little bit. Pork chops are cheap. If I'm on death row, I need something expensive. Like a, uh, huh? I like that. We should do that. We can shoot that huh. Tuesday. Both of our death row meals. Oh, death row. We'll get them to Photoshop us in the jail suit. Orange jumper. <laughs> Oh yeah. Any thoughts on making a second cookbook? We have been talking about it. Um, we are giving out sign, not giving out, but we're, we have signed copies uh, today. So if you've purchased it in the past and you want to, you know, give one away as a gift, if you buy it today, you're going to get a signed copy. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're 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 thinking about it. I know AB has a solo cookbook drop in. I've got a solo cookbook coming this fall. Um, so we're just, you know, we don't want to step on that either. So maybe in the near future, we can put one out. Hey, to be honest with you, look, we talked about it. We've been saying it so much. And I actually have already started it. You know what I mean? I just don't have no time to, like, finish it. And like he just said, I just had a cookbook. My outdoor cookbook is out right now. That's available at uh, Walmart.com. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm going to quit saying that. Because, listen, actually, you can get it from Walmart. You can get it from Barnes & Noble. It's in there also. Uh, and then I have my own standalone. It's like I'm in on so many cookbooks, you know. Where can I find your tongs? Uh, behind me. Okay. Uh, I'm leaving that up to Matt what right now. Happened? Chicago, what? They want to know if we're gonna do anything uh like in uh Chicago. We should. Not in the winter though. Oh no. <laughs> Got to be in the spring, right. summer. Chicago winters are brutal. Uh, but yeah, I love I love Chicago. We should definitely do something in Chicago. Right. Me and AB might be doing an event in Houston this fall, so look out for that. Kind of letting cat out the bag a little early, mm -hmm. but uh, potentially September. Hopefully, I lock in that date here soon. This bacon smells good. Oh man, you using my bacon? This? That's my beef bacon. This man. is beef. Okay. What, what's the flavor? Is it maple? Yeah, that's a maple. Beef yep. bacon for the pork patrol. I got you covered today, courtesy of AB. Courtesy of me. Hey, listen, you guys got to go by and check out Porter Road. Look, they not paying me to say nothing like that. Ever since I did do a sponsorship with them, when they sent it out, that's my only bacon, right? When you guys see me using uh, pork, which pork's still good, but a lot of people don't, you know, go with the pork or whatever. So I got the best option. And if you ask me, I don't never have to have the pork no more. Porter Road, beef bacon, get the maple flavor. That right there take you right over. Hey, you I don't have to have the pork again. Huh? You never, yeah, you don't. I hate to do pork that way, though, you know? Man. I'm not. We'll see. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna try it. I'm looking forward to to testing it yeah, out. I, 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 I love that. All right. So we got the beef bacon cooking here. We're gonna render the fat. I like to do it nice, low and slow. That way, the fat has time to render because we're gonna use that fat as flavor. And we're also gonna cook our onions and garlic in that fat. No need to add any extra oil or anything like that. Just using the fat from the bacon. It's gonna be the foundation of flavor for the beans. So we're going to go with that, go with this uh, bacon nice and low and slow, add in the onions, the garlic, let that cook, and then we'll start adding in our beans, brown sugar, ketchup, barbecue sauce, things of that nature. If you got some ground beef, you can add that in as well. 
This is cooking up just like pork bacon. Mm. I'm impressed. I ain't here. What about a what? What about our favorite recipe? You might oh, got to drop another book. Kind of like <laughs> it. Kind of like when we do the uh, when we do the cookbook, then be my then be my favorite recipe. Yeah, every, basically, anytime I drop a cookbook, it's it's right, either right. recipes that I've been working on recently, uh, or you know, which also tends to be some of my favorite stuff. So this book we did, what was it, two years ago? Two years ago. So two this years like, ago. Uh, hey, being honest, I mean, we, we like it about twenty five thousand. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Got back from yesterday, right? Hey, yeah, I just listen. You want to talk about being dedicated? I knew Matt was coming in from the East Coast, so listen. I was in San Diego. I drove three hundred and seventy some miles yesterday. No, we went down there uh day before yesterday, and uh, was, it was cool. It was really a test and tune. If you guys get a chance, you know what I mean. You want to see anything about my race car? I'm getting ready to start posting some stuff up starting Monday. You guys can look up uh, West Coast Grudge Racing uh, Media on YouTube if you can find it. You know what I mean? And the reason I say that because I hadn't, I just started putting content up on it. I got to come to a race. Oh, for sure. Hey, I got one on fire. You got like uh, your nachos and corn dogs and shit. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? They just not uh, approached me. I need stadium, me. stadium snacks. Oh, they just approached me and asked me uh, if I was interested in, in doing the food. You know, you being go. like one of the vendors. Oh, they cut me a check while you race. I'll go out there and uh, <laughs> make, do it, make some huh? money for the home team. Yeah, make. Have you No. No. It doesn't sound I never, even, I never heard of that. Oh, damn. Well, ship me some. I'll try it out. Yeah, really? But lamb's not my. So I, I like lamb, but if I'm going to eat red meat, I like beef. beef. Beef is better than lamb, in my opinion. I like lamb, but like I'm not. If I go out to eat, I rarely order lamb chops. Like almost never. I gotta really be in the mood for it. I'd rather have a steak. I mean, I like steak, man. You know what I mean? I don't have so much of it. Same thing with like brisket, bro. I just I've had so much, you know. Yeah. I don't really get tired of steak though. My doctor probably get tired of me eating it, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, my dishwasher. The dishwasher? I mean, if that's you ain't got next no level. I mean, yeah, that's. I'd rather it be in the in the in the tub than the dishwasher. <laughs> With all the residue. The dishwasher is crazy. Is that right? What did you put in it? Just water. I mean, well, vinegar. You, but you gotta remember, like, if you if you if you make it from the south, or you know, people that grow them, they gotta do a lot of cleaning. But because we come from these big cities, man, it's so strenuous as far as uh, like the cold or like how the food is. And what but they Thanksgiving, sell I try to get mine from like a local like farm or like somebody that's selling them. A lot of times I have them on the side of the road, different places. Yeah. Yeah. I've been offered quite a few of those, and I don't even know if I should say this, but. To be honest, there's there's a lot of restrictions in those contracts. So for somebody like me that has a lot of lot of stuff going on business wise, um, they can be quite restrictive in some of the language in the contracts in terms of what you can do, what you can't do, how much of a percentage you got to give to them when certain deals come across your table. And oh, really? I don't really like that. So um, I haven't found one that I I, I want to do one, and I think I will do one. We just got to come to terms on something that's reasonable. Let's put it that way. What do you mean, though? So, like, for example, a lot of the um, – I hope I'm not shitting on Food Network too hard. But a lot of the contracts will have things in there that read basically – they're basically designed for somebody that's, like, a smaller creator that's, like, Food Network will give you a boost. So, in their mind, they, they deserve 10 to 15% of whatever you got going on after you're on the show. That but might, for somebody that's already got a bunch of stuff it. going on and I own all of my stuff – it doesn't make a lot of sense to give you a percentage of what I already got going on. Right. Okay. So that makes that makes a lot of sense. I've had uh, Next Level Chef uh, that I've had them reach out. I yeah, made it to too. like the last ten. I wanted to do it too because it's a dope show. But you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you, though, man. My personality and just how I am, I am not one of them dudes that just be running around in the kitchen. 
Yeah, you I know what it. I mean. Uh, hey, you know what I mean. Uh, I, I, I pride myself on just, and I got it. I was going to do it, you know, just for the exposure. You know what I mean. I'll uh, do one eventually. I, like I said, we just got, and I'm sure every contract's negotiable. So maybe I need to be more open minded and, you know, and reasonable myself. So it's definitely something I would like to do. I just haven't found the right fit as of yet. YouTube. YouTube. Hey, you know what? Uh, I hey, I tell it. I I met Mike. I mean Matt when he had uh, what was it? Did you have a hundred thousand yet? If I did, it was it was early. Yeah. <clears throat> now I didn't have a hundred on. I had a hundred on uh Instagram, not YouTube. You didn't have one? Oh, did you? Yeah, you reached out. I mean, we, actually, the funny story is you follow, you started following me, and I was about to DM you, and then when I went to send you a message, I saw the little thing that shows that he's typing. So we were like about to message each other at the, at same, the same time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Carlos asked, what temperature do both of you like to see them? What temperature? What? Yeah, what temperature do both of you like to see them? Oh, it depends on what it is. You know yeah. what I mean? If it's pork, hey, I don't go past 145. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. A lot of people still think that they got to make it 165. But when you do pork yeah, like that, like it dry. pork truck, it, that's why they come out dry. 145 is the, is the uh, special number. So right now we got the onions and the garlic going. We got the bacon already cooked. That's cooking in the bacon fat. I'm going to add some of the beans. I'm going to leave the juice from the bushes can. I'm going to drain the juice or the liquid from the uh, black beans. And then we'll get that in there. Get it rolling. Add a little brown sugar. Some ketchup, a little barbecue sauce, some seasoning, and it's gonna be good. Hey, so that's where me and you differ at right there. You said that you uh drink, you don't drain your your beans. I drain mine. I drain some, so they. I mean, like they got the the bacon and whatnot in there, even though it's not the best quality bacon. What's your YouTube name, at? Mister Make It Happen. Mr. Making Hey man, how you come up with that name, homie? And yeah, they didn't didn't even have anything to do with food. It was uh basically a joke. Me and my, my friends were on vacation, and uh, I was just basically making shit happen, making fun of them because they they were supposed to do something and it didn't work out. And then I made it work. And then I was joking with him and told him he needs to call me Mr. Make Shit Happen for the rest of the trip. And then I like I took the joke to the point where I changed my Twitter name to Mr. Make It Happen, and I just. Just stuck. stuck huh? Yep. So I added a little chicken bouillon powder, mostly because it's got some MSG and some good flavors, a nice flavor enhancer. Um, we're gonna add a little AP, my all-purpose seasoning. You can grab that at MrMakeItHappen.com as well. Basically, a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, things like that. We're gonna add that in there. Also, kind of covers all your flavor bases, and then you can start adding other flavors that you want. If you want to spice it up, you could add some cayenne or some red pepper flakes. Um, if you want to sweeten it, we already added pr plenty of sweet stuff, so I wouldn't recommend adding anything other than the, the brown sugar and whatnot. In goes a big old can of beans. I'm going to drain these black beans real quick. Huh? Oh, you said there's a thousand viewers in there now? Okay. Hey, you hear that, y'all? You know what? I know I'm terrible. You know what I mean? Everybody, hey, I'm so glad you're here, though, bro. You even tell me that. I'm surprised, Matt. Matt, you, you, you off your game, right? Hey, he just told me, he said, hey, it's a thousand people. It's over a thousand people in here. He said, uh, you need to t tell everybody, hey, share this. You know what? Hey, so listen, I will say that. If you guys can, you know how, just share this video. Share the feed. You know, let everybody know. That way they can get in here. They're going to ask questions. Might ask something that you would that you wasn't even thinking about that we might have the answer to. Yeah, uh, keep your questions coming. Yeah, soon. just keep them coming. And we pick today to do it because usually we go live. And usually, we always struggle with the time. Like, is, what's the best time to do it? You know, for the East Coast to cover everybody. So, to be honest with you, in order to cover everybody, we got to do it like around four o'clock on Pacific Standard Time, right? Which makes it seven. You know what I mean? So we thought Sunday everybody should be home from church, or you know what? You know, coming home. You know what I mean? And just you know, spend a little time with us, man. Just hang out. That's what I book, like about get a signed copy. We'll be here. I'm here until Tuesday, so we're gonna sign all the all of the sales that go through today. Maybe even tomorrow, we're gonna uh, sign each copy before it gets shipped out uh, early part of next week. We got another one from JoJo. When do you all start cooking? 
Huh? When? When did you all? I started cooking when I was about eighteen. I'm thirty three now, so uh, getting kind of old. Nephew. Yeah, yeah youngster. I'm getting kind of old. Is that what you call it? Then I must be. I'm. I don't know. Then you. What's hey, the man, word? You're for making me, it work. Man. You must be exfoliating. <laughs> yeah. A little hot sauce in the beans. We're measuring with love today, but the exact recipes can be found in the Best of Both Worlds cookbook. Use the code free ship for free shipping. If That's you right. buy it today, you're getting a signed copy from AB and myself. Uh, you guys, what do you guys cooking? We got baked beans, we got collard greens, we got fried chicken, mac and cheese, and fried fish. That's right. Hey, I even got a t I got I got some shirts to say rolling them greens, homie. <laughs> <laughs> it was I 420 just... yesterday. One word? What? Free ship, one word. Uh, Mitzi, if you can, can you put it on the screen? And the website, Mitzi, please. Miss, uh, not Mr. McKay. Uh, best of both worlds. Best of both worlds, yeah. Man, I wish I, I could like pick. to add a little Dijon mustard to mine, too. Just a little bite to kind of offset some little, of the sweetness. Right. Some of these greens. These ain't the best greens. You know what I'm saying? Ain't the season. You know, they got a Where y'all getting green? greens from in Vegas? <laughs> They ship it here, man. You got to. If you ever drive to Vegas, I mean, you see all them I trucks. I seen a green in. field in Vegas. <laughs> oh, shit, no. And I usually drive from L.A., so you don't see nothing. Right. Nothing. Just cactus. It all come in on them trucks, man. Even the fresh fish. Mm. Some of them big rigs be full of live fish. I love the sushi out here, but it's like, where y'all? You got to be flying it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to let that roll off to the side, trying not to burn my hand. Smell good. Put it on low. Let some of that liquid cook off and the flavors kind of concentrate. And I'm going to dice up this bacon and add that to the party as well. Meanwhile, I'm stuck over here on uh, green duty. On green duty. Hey, but don't trip, though. You know what I use this time for? This time is all about me. You know, even though we talking and all that, man, it, it just takes me back to being with my granny. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we it's like a little bit of like meditation. Right, right, right. The prep work, that's what I like the most. I play a little music, which we can't do because we'll get kicked off. Um, mm. Play a little music, make a drink, get the prep work done before everybody shows up for your party or function. I want to ask this. Is she putting anything on the screen? Yeah. Well, Mitzi, let me ask you this question. Because he don't have it. Are you, you can see it on your screen. Okay. You just got, okay, okay, okay. Never mind, Mitzi. He just explained it to me. Greens? Um, if you eat them raw, they can have a little bit of a bitter flavor to them a little bit. Uh, mustard greens tend to be a little bit more bitter. I like oh. to do a mustard uh, turnip. Combination. Uh, yeah, combination. You know, like 50-50. Collars go good with uh, with mustards, too. Yeah. But you know what? I don't do it that – Some I have done it that way. I think I've done it that way even on my channel. But I like a 75% uh, collar. Once they get tender um, – they're they're not bitter once they get tender, especially if you you know you got all the seasoning and the smoked turkey or smoked pork in there. They shouldn't be that bitter. If they're still bitter, then they're probably not quite done. What car? Oh, what kind of car we driving? You talking about race car or what we drive in real life? No asshole. That big difference. What I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to start with Matt. By the, by the verbiage <laughs> of what car do you run, I'm assuming this. Did, did you say run or what kind of? Oh, I got an import car, man. It's just a a low eight-second import car. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't have no pictures of it. Maybe Mitchie can. Uh, we got to get some pics. Mitchie, can you ask her? Can, maybe she can find something. I'll send something to you. I'll put it up in just one second. Let me finish rolling these uh, greens up. Hey, that's what's up, man. You say Anthony? Andrew. Ant Andrew. Andre. 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 Hey, so let me tell you who we got behind the, uh, who reading the comments right now. So we got one person from the team missing. That's Nader. She had, uh, she deserved this day off. You know what I mean? Uh, but she took the weekend off. Which she, uh, her and Mitchie helped me. Mitchie finna take some, a couple of days off starting next week. So I had to have one of them. But the gentleman you hear behind the uh, camera right now talking, that's the newest uh, team member. 
You know what I mean? Uh, that's the guy right now that's going to be taking over the video department, you know, and helping me get some uh, content, giving, you know, giving Nada, you know, like a much needed break so she can concentrate on doing what she does best. You know what I mean? So his name is, hey, listen to this. I'm going to spell his name. I want y'all to tell me what is his name. Well, I, I you, you're not going to be able to give me the, the pronunciation, but he, he called him, he said that you got to call him Julio, right? But I told him here in America, homie, that's, we call that Julio. You know what I mean? Remember but, the taste as you go? <laughs> oh, yeah. Got to do that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. All right. So that's going well. I'm going to set that on the back burner over there. Get started on the mac and cheese. We already shredded the cheese for that. The chicken's also already marinating in a, a buttermilk brine. In the brine, we got a little hot sauce, a little chicken bouillon powder, some lemon bay, some AP seasoning, um, probably a couple other things. I don't know. I don't remember. But we, we mixed that with the buttermilk, and we got that soaking for a little bit, at least an hour, preferably two to 24 hours on the buttermilk. Buttermilk uh, has a, a higher acid uh, content, so it's going to help tenderize, break down the muscle fibers in the chicken, tenderize the meat. No, no, probably. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to fry it up, get it in some flour, season it up, drop it hey, in some oil. So if you guys want to know why I said shh, because listen, when you're making them chicken sandwiches, you want to use that buttermilk. Yeah. I like it with buttermilk, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. And another thing too, but I wouldn't go longer than twenty four hours because then it'd get a little too soft. So if you ever had like forgot your your buttermilk brine in the fridge or something, that tend that that process of making the uh, the protein tender, it also oh. make it a little too tender to get a little mushy. Get a little mushy, right? All right, so we're gonna slide this behind, hot behind, going around. Put that on the back burner. So look, when we, we first started, I was moving fast man but now i just settled down i got a nice little pace going you know what i mean uh i feel my grandmama smiling over my back you know what i mean uh she probably looking at me really and saying why am i using a knife you know what i mean because you know granny had that snap action she just yeah. rip it right off the stem oh yeah just break it right off my grandfather really liked the, uh, the, the stem too i mean if I buy it, sometimes I'm lazy and I buy it from the store already cut, which, again, I'll probably get crucified for. But, you know, sometimes you're not feeling it. And uh, that has the stems in them. And, I, you know, I don't I don't take the time to pick the stems out. I don't dislike the stem. I just, if I'm going to prep it, I like to remove mine personally. It's all a matter of personal preference like most things with cooking. Right, right. right. Hey, it's Sunday, homie. We got to have some cornbread, man. I'm going to take care Let's of that cornbread. It. Once we look like we got up on an hour, I'll start getting angry. I like the right. sound of that. Hey, let me ask you guys this. How y'all like y'all cornbread? You like it uh, sweet? You know what I mean? Most... I'm from the South. I like mine a little sweet. Yeah. I mean, I, I love mine sweet. Huh? Okay. All right. Uh, Mitzi, you have it already? Uh, can you... Oh, it's on the screen? Hey, let me see it. Oh, you say it's on the screen? No, it's on the live screen. Oh, but you can't switch to that screen to what she's showing? Nope. Oh, no. Okay. All right, so now you guys get a chance to uh, see it. I don't know what picture it is. Let me go see. Let me look right now. <clears throat> While he does that, I'm going to get started on the mac and cheese. I'm going to get my little mise en place set up. I ain't no good picture of that. You ain't got no we good. got butter. I need a little, little flour. You ain't got no sorry picture of it? Butter, flour, AP seasoning, or salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a little paprika ooh, if you ooh. want to. A little chicken bouillon oh, if you want to add some MSG. Yeah. Make it taste really good. Heavy cream, whole milk, half and half. Whatever you have. Um, if you use heavy cream, it's going to be a little thicker. If you use whole milk, it's going to be a little thinner. The cheese will help. The roux will help thicken it up as well. So don't overthink it. Uh, a lot of times if you're about to make a recipe, you look at the recipe and it says uh, heavy cream, but all you got is milk. You know, you can, you can make it work. Don't have to stop everything you're doing and run to the store just for mac and cheese. You can still, you know, tweak it and adjust it a little bit. I'm going to grab some flour real quick. We're going to get these noodles boiling.
I made you uh peach and casserole. Yeah, I like oh. my cornbread sweet, but I also add some cheddar. Andre Stanley. A little sweet and savory oh, situation. A, I like I like the sound of that. So you have to read those. I like you it. I mean when they do that. Mitch. Mobile, Alabama. Hey, let me get over there. Hey, what it do? That's where my roots is from. <laughs> where did I put the mac and cheese? Oh, there, there we go. Here I come, you guys. I'm coming right back. I'm just trying to send her a picture of this car. AB try to make me do the greens. I see. I see. <laughs> I see oh, what no. your strategy no, don't, is. Hey, don't, don't touch my greens, man. All right, half stick of butter. Get the party started on the roux. Half stick of butter, about three tablespoons of flour. Give that a good mix. Season your roux. Add the heavy cream, half and half milk, whatever you have. Let that come up to a boil. Then reduce it down to a simmer and then add your cheese. One of the mistakes people make when they make mac and cheese is they add the cheese when it's too hot and it'll start to separate and get oily. So if you ever had an oily mac and cheese, that's probably what happened. Do you all put red pepper grapes in your wings? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little hot sauce for me, too. I'll leave that up to the individual person. Let them yeah. dab it if they Same thing it. I do like with my gumbo. Like I don't, dude, I'm getting ready to make another gumbo, you guys, so look out for it. I'm probably going to do it next week. Uh, I think it's coming up next week. And, you already uh, shoot it? Huh? You shot it? No. Nah, you, hey, look. I got it. If I say next week, when Matt say next week, that means it was shot already. Hey, he got it in the can and ready to go. Oh, no, but I, I can say this, though. My, the people that helped me, my team, listen, we film stuff. It go out almost same day sometimes. Shit, most of the time. Today, this was uh, That's a Thanksgiving batch right here. Yeah, you're right. Huh? <laughs> the whole time, look, we've been, I've been in here uh, doing that. No, I did, I did uh this was seven bundles. No, well, I'm getting to Tuesday, so I'll eat, I'll eat a, a bowl of these every day. Oh uh, man, but look, small leafy green, some discolored. So I'm getting the pasta water ready for the elbow macaroni. Always salt your pasta water, people. Heavily salted. Don't be shy. It's your really your best opportunity to get a little flavor on the pasta itself. Where can I find your your salt at? Kosher. My man. Coarse ground. Appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Salt going in. What kind of Today we got the large Elbow. elbow macaroni, but I like elbow or cavatappi. I like cavatappi sometimes too, especially for like lobster mac. I'm trying to do something a little bit fancier that, that tends to look or present a little bit nicer too. So okay. So if you guys are looking at that, that was me taking a picture of the uh, magazine. You know, uh, that was like one of the biggest uh, milestones I had. I've been fooling with Volkswagen racing since I was 16 years old. And how that come in, and then I finally got on the front cover three months ago and had a, like a six-page spread inside the magazine. So that was like a, a highlight, you know, for so you myself. Didn't, you didn't send me that, tell me nothing about it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my bad, man. You're supposed to be hey, you know, Yeah, 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 yeah. See how your hey. uncle does you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I got it framed. This upstairs in my office, all of that. You know what I mean? Uh... <clears throat> all right. Uh, what's your favorite drink while prepping? Whatever's That's cold. Humor. Whatever's closest within arm's reach. Hey. Today, I got a little... Uh, <laughs> today, we got... We'll make AB take a shot today. Oh, yeah. I'll take one. Now, I got... Today, I got a little uh, cognac and Diet Coke. I saw... It was the first thing I saw when I got over there. I like bourbon. I like tequila. I'm Irish. I like it all, really. I probably should chill out, but they got me this far. Huh? Huh? Man, you know that that be the thing when I'm out of the street, that homie. All the time. You do, you get it too. They like, hey, how's that your uncle, huh? Or do or did it, do they say that or they just they say, just assume that it's this, right, that right, is right. true. Right, right, right. They don't ever ask me how is that. They be like, they don't want to. Hey, I'm gonna just tell you guys. You know what this I mean? Nobody want right. to. The world is so in the uproar right now. Don't nobody want to say white or black. You know what I mean? So they be like, hey, the dude that you be cooking with all the time. And I was like, who? You know what I mean? And they were like, you know. And then I was like, then, then, then they go, yo, nephew. I'd be like, oh, you didn't want to say the white guy. The white you guy. Know, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm going to change my <laughs> IG name. <too. laughs> 
It's all good. Sometimes you got to use, you know, it is what it is. Use your words. Right. Use your words. You know what I mean? Uh, it, everything ain't offensive. You know? A.B., where's your flower? Uh, right here behind you. I just opened the... Uh, there it is right there. Sorry, man. You're good. See, if I'd have had about three more drinks, I'd have put that powdered <laughs> sugar in there. <laughs> oh, that uh, conventional sugar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that, that's not... That's hey, not I'm going to tell you something, man. About cooking and learning from my grandma. My grandma told me that stuff was like powdered sugar. So, you know, when you get older and somebody say something to you, now you're on your own, right? And they was like, convection of sugar. I was like, what? what is that? You know what I mean? Then when I find out about it, man, that's powdered sugar, man. Yeah, I can't say pow confectionist as well as I can say powder, so I usually go <laughs> right, with that. Right, right, right. All right, so we got three tablespoons of flour in there with a half stick of butter, effectively making our roux. Got some water coming up to a boil. Now's a good time to get, begin seasoning your roux. So, again, I like to use a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. If you're afraid of MSG, you probably read a report from 1999 uh, because there's nothing wrong with it. But if you don't like it, no big deal. You can leave it out. But definitely add some seasoning, some flavor to your roux. Keep the heat on, you know, medium, medium, low. Have a what? Uh, garden. 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 Yeah, my grandparents uh did. No, I didn't. They, know. Yeah, I, I did not I grew have up a garden. garden. Yeah, I would have liked to have a garden though. I had one in Riverside. You know, my what? uncle had a garden. And he used to grow llama beans, so that's why I love butter beans so much. Cause we had a surplus of those pretty much at all times. I got them coming up too. Them so easy. Though, that's man. my favorite, man. That and some cornbread on me. Woo! Oh, that's man. a meal for me. That that's that it. saved my life. If it wasn't for that. There's been many nights I might not have had nothing to eat. I will recommend going to, to butcher if you want to get the best. Either the butcher or the international market tends to be a little bit cheaper. You guys got one of them that you can go to, huh? Yeah, right down the street from me. Luckily, it's cheaper. Honestly, they're prepped better. They're not like. They're already kind of trimmed a little bit, so you're not paying for stuff that you can end up cutting off and throwing it in the trash anyway. Hey, you know uh, Daddy's Kitchen? Yeah. Uh, he taught me, and this is something I didn't know. My grandma member told me this, but he showed me how to uh, trim the oxtail. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? It's like I never really trim. I try to, like, just pick them. But even when he gets the best ones, you know, when he buy them from the store. Like some he, of the fat? Yeah, he trims some of that fat, man. Yeah, especially if it's if sometimes it's just too much. It's not all going to render nicely. Right. Okay. What's up? Uh, talk about the free shipment again. Oh, yeah. So right now, you can go to bestofbothworldscookbook.com. Grab yourself a copy of our cookbook. Um, it's going to be a signed copy. If you purchase today, we're going to sign every single copy that gets purchased today. And if you use the code, what is it, Mel? Free, free ship. ship. Free the code free ship at checkout. You're going to get a signed copy and free shipping. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. Excellent deal. About 100 recipes in there between AB and myself. And it'll get you through the rest of the year into the holidays. Works great as a gift as well. If you got a, a chef in your family or a loved one that likes to cook. Doesn't mm. get much better than that. Right, right, right. They make uh, great gifts. Like a lot of people that talk to me and say they give them to the kids that's going off to school. You know what I mean? Make some, uh, cause you guys see that I cook like a, I use a burner all the time. You just give somebody a burner, give your kid a burner, you know, like two or three key pots and pans. And they can cook anywhere. Whew. It might like it might seem like I got a lot of greens right here, but this ain't nothing. It'll cook now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat them. Don't you worry about it. Thank you. Oh, that's what's up. Thank you. Keep them coming. Thank you. Once we get everything going, we'll go in there and uh, sign as many as we can. We're gonna sign throughout the whole day. The next couple of days, we'll have, I'll be here till Tuesday, so we'll we'll make sure they all get signed. Website is bestofbothworldscookbook.com. It should be linked in my bio. If it's not, I'll make sure it's linked. It's definitely linked in my story for you guys on uh, Instagram. If you don't see it, just go to my story, and it's linked right there. Hey, you want to talk about a great title? 
that it makes hey, sense. Nobody ain't nobody seen enough about that title though. You know best what I mean? Of both Listen, worlds. The best of both worlds. You know what I mean? Uh, he has his style of cooking. You know what I mean? I have my I got that old school. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I should be pulling up like in a, a 72 Cadillac home. You should get you one. You know, that ain't my thing. That's what I that's see. My, that's, that's my boy thing. You know, I like I like that new stuff, Mike. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. A little bit of both. Favorite what? Favorite cuisine. Cuisine. For me, um, soul food's up there for me. I grew up eating it. Um, it's it's comfort food for me. Uh, if I had to pick something else, Asian just so wide in variety. I like Chinese. I like Thai. I like uh, Filipino. There's just so many different things you can go that way. I like sushi, Japanese food. So that probably is more all encompassing for me. So if I had to pick, I probably if I could only eat one, that's probably what I'm going with. Come on, folks. Who has that? You, you must you must be new to me. I like that. Uh, that I'm gonna go with soul, but I, I wanted to cover everything. Like soul food to me is the same. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the race because when you're down south, a lot of people say soul food. You know what I mean? You just assume that that you know it's black, right? Like the black type of food. But then when you think about country food. If you ask me, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna just say soul food, country food. You know southern. what I mean? I'd love it. Just southern. You know what I mean? Uh, I love my stuff. Uh, everything smothered. You know what I mean? I like good fried. You name it. If it even sound like it might be from the south, that's it. Yeah, let's thank uh, Randy Hurts. Got a thank you, Ooh. thank you, thank you, Brandy. Thank you. Randy, we got some cheese already shredded. I always recommend shredding your own cheese for macaroni and cheese because it doesn't have the anti-caking agents that you get from the grocery store. Things like potato starch that, um, you know, prevent it from clumping up at the grocery store, which is a good thing. But when it comes time to make your cheese sauce, it's not going to be smooth. It's going to be a little lumpy, a little gritty. And uh, that's why it's good to shred your own cheese. So bring this up to a boil. That's going to help the flour cook out and, and effectively make the roux kind of make it a little bit thicker, at which point I'll reduce the heat and then start adding in the cheese. Season to taste. Another good pro tip for mac and cheese is to add most of your seasoning after the cheese is in there because cheese varies in its sodium content. So depending on the brand and the type of cheese that you're using, some of it's a little bit more salty than others. So if you season it too heavily before the cheese goes in, you run the risk of it being too salty later. Hey, so listen, I'm listening to you though, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm like the visionary guy. To be honest with you guys, if I could, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Having 2.9 million people to follow you, you know what I mean? That's great. That's a major, you know, feat. Hell yeah, 3 million. Might as well say yeah, three. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, now nah, I can't say it till it. In a week or so, it'll be yeah, three. Well, I, I need a couple of more months. I do want to say thank you to everybody. Absolutely. But what I was going to say is just listening to you, man, you're well spoken, though, bro. Thank Good you. at, you know, giving all that up. Like for me, I just want to cook. What I want to do is I want to go down here to this Raider Stadium, you know what I'm saying, and tell them, hey, let me and Matt, you know, come here, put us on the Jumbotron. You know it. what I'm saying? Uh, that would be fun. Have everybody just come on out. We're going to need a gang you of people. You can do all of that, that homie, and just let me cook. Man. Nothing let wrong me with cook. that. Hey, here, hey, wouldn't that be cool to have everybody have a burner out there in the pot in front of them, some ingredients? As long oh, as somebody's we... paying for the insurance, I'm down. Oh, you, oh. You Mr. Killjoy here. <laughs> hey, you, hey. Hey, you know what that you say hey, that? I'm just saying, right, right. don't nobody sure burn or cut themselves and say Mr. Mega Hadman did it because I right. know he didn't. <laughs> right, right, right. I love Indian food, is a big one for me. I'm a big is fan it? of Indian food. Um All right, I Caribbean food, but I already cooked that a lot. If it's something that I don't cook that much of that I really enjoy, it's probably Indian food. For me, it would be like the African cuisine. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, they got some cold soup, uh, soups and stews. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, just that cooking process. You know what I mean? I would like to know more about it, you know? Right. That's what it's all about. Just learning. I love to learn. I love to meet new chefs and different people that I can, you know, get techniques uh, from and learn tips from. Well, look, even, yeah. even people that's not, you know, younger folks. A lot of these TikTok recipes, a lot of those young younger kids are getting a bad rep for, you know, kind of just making random stuff but there's still some some good tidbits in there that you can learn from right you know uh speaking of that some people be asking me like how come you know like how do i choose who work with me it's those who open their mouth like my mother raised me on closed mouth don't get fed 
Uh, I got a guy that's going to be on the channel right now. Listen, he's a baker. I met him when I was going to go do something, you know, out of town, but he was the uh, one of the head flight attendants, you know, on, on American Airlines. Right. And I got to talking to him. Look, he he was like, he just wanted to show me. He break out his Facebook and show me these uh, cheesecakes. Mm. So I look at the cheesecake. I'm like, man, I said, hey, bro, you didn't do that, man. I was like, if you did that, you wouldn't be working right here. He said, that's what he loved to do. Right. So at the end of the thing, he said, man, he said, where you at? I said, I'm in Vegas. Because I was, you know what? I was coming from, uh, I was coming from Montana. Uh, anyway, make a long story short, after he talked to everybody on the plane. Right. Then he came and, you know, we exchanged numbers. He couldn't believe it. He, I told him, man, next time you're out this way, let's cook together, homie. He came here and made a bad cheesecake, man. Yeah. Best cheesecake I've That's ever something had. I would definitely hey, want to learn from. Best is, cheesecake I've never had. It's like Thanks. people that are, you know, really proficient at baking. Because that's something that I've done some with. But what I like about cooking is once you learn how to balance flavors and and uh, just cook in general, you can fix stuff. If it goes wrong, if you have too many beverages, you walk away too long, you forget to add something, you can tweak it and adjust it. With baking, once it's in the oven, it's between you and God, <laughs> and you better hope it comes out right. Right, right. Hey, you know who a baker is? Who? Mitchie. Yeah? Mitchie's a baker. Mitchie never baked me nothing. <laughs> oh. I did it myself, Nita. <laughs> Don't get it started, homie. <laughs> hey, no, he didn't. No, we're going to give you your props. Hey, so listen, you guys know that's Nada. I already told him, Nada, you had something personal to do this week here. That's why we just, we, actually, we just put in seven days in a row trying to finish up, up some stuff for Walmart, which we did. You know what I mean? That'll be debuting soon. Uh, I think it starts next week. I did a, a five-part series with them using some of their products, and then I did three how-tos on the Blackstone Griddle. So you guys look out for them. You know, tell anybody, you know what I mean, about them, share it, and do all of that. But to make a long story short about Nada, she set everything up before she left. Thank you, Nada. Thank you, Nada. You can. Listen, you can. I'm a, I'm a, you, you hit the first one. You, nah. you, you can, but it has like, he says it's a potato starch. I didn't know what kind of starch it is, but it's got some kind of waxy film in there too to keep it from sticking in the bag and all of that, right? That's what's going to go in there. And it don't melt as good. If you ask me, so anytime you can grate your own cheese, do it. Right. Hundred percent. You know what I found, though, man? It's like nobody was saying that in the very beginning, man. And well, I guess I shouldn't say it. Like I ain't doing. I, I didn't you invent the wheel. Oh, that's a good one. So my peach. Speaking of cheesecakes, my peach cobbler mm -hmm. cheesecake is one of the oh. first videos that went viral for me. I'm That's sorry, in this bro. cookbook, and you that, I love that is peach. good. I love that peach cobbler. Well, I never made it for you, so I didn't take no offense. Bro. No, yeah, yeah, okay. Now that okay. you said that, maybe but, I got to whip that up <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. try it. Yeah. But, but I, um, I got a basic uh, peach cobbler, though, homie, today. Yeah, I can't, I, peach, peach cobbler and... We made one together. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I said, uh, guys, basically made him a better cook. He was cooking your recipes while I was deployed. Thank well, you. While I don't know what? That's what we do it for, deployment. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, you for your service, yeah. too. Thank you. Yes, thank you for your service. All right, guys, so my cheese sauce is ready. I'm waiting for the uh, water to come to a boil so we can drop the elbow macaroni. Once that is al dente, we'll strain it, drop it into the cheese sauce, put it in a casserole dish or a foil pan to save on dishes, and then we're going to pop that in the oven at 375, top it with a little bit of cheese, no breadcrumbs, we won't do that. And uh, once it's brown and bubbly, on the top, <laughs> wait, 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 we're gonna pull it. Wait, what, do you, what do you say? No breadcrumbs? I don't like breadcrumbs on my mac and cheese. <laughs> hey, I done made it that way. I, in the beginning, I was trying to do something for a little bit of everybody. I get it. You know it. what I'm saying? I, I was understand trying to do something it, for everybody. But hey, like the green bean casserole. But I will do the fried onions and green okay, bean casserole. Okay, okay. I love them fried onions. You brought a green bean casserole because I'm white. <laughs> that's why you brought that. That's why you brought that up. This is flat. Oh, Caught oh, me. you got splat. Hey, oh, look, what that's, is that? That's, you're right, right, right. And Nate, if you're still in here, look what he grabbed. He grabbed splat. Got flavor water. I'll, I'll hey, but you know what? It, it's actually good, though. You know what I mean? Uh, it's refreshing. It's delicious. Yeah, I just yeah. wasn't expecting it. Huh? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. So right. far, so good. Huh? Last time we had her. She was counting down. We was getting ready to go live. She got the two, and she fainted. 
So down so goes, good. yeah. So far, AB so don't good. give people breaks, man. He works them too hard. Hey, first thing that's it. Bre- first <laughs> thing that's it. Hey, my team hard man, yeah, that's the best. Man, I ain't heard nothing so far. <laughs> She faded. Hey, I was like, I looked at Moody. Oh, you weren't here yet. I looked at yeah, Moody. Yeah. I said, Y'all not working hard enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said, right? <laughs> hey, while she was on the ground, he was like, Hey, B, I must not be working my folks hard enough, homie. He's like, Hey, hey none of them faded. Hey, none of my people <laughs> faded once. Hey, trying. 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 So the leftover cheese that we grated. Most of it went in here. The rest of that's going to be topped uh, or on top of the casserole dish going in the <clears> oven. Uh, we're using whatever cheese we had in the fridge. We got uh, sharp cheddar. We got white cheddar. We got mozzarella. Uh, Colby Jack is one of my favorites for the, the. It just melts really nicely and is a good top coat to go into the into the oven with. Give that nice brown and, and bubbly look when it comes out. Parmesan's good. Smoked Gouda, Gruyere, Fontina, whatever you got. Hey, look, I almost see. at the bottom of the greens, folks. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm about to tell you. I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm for sure right now. It ain't no one thing uh, about you, you get the job done. Because if it was me, I'd have stopped about half about half of those already. Uh, nah, I got to, I got to do them. You go see it mm. through. Oh yeah, got to see it through. And anyway, these these greens right here is monumental. You know what I mean? So listen, a lot of things that I cook on my channel, man, just because it hadn't been passed down. You know what I mean? All the way down. In, uh, my my perfect example of that would be uh, your grandmama making uh, peach cobbler. You know how she run you out of the kitchen? Right. She only made it twice a year. So you thought it was something hard to do, you know? What it I mean? ain't. It ain't. I could make peach cobbler. I thought about doing the peach cobbler while we were doing this live. You could have. You know what I mean? It's no. easy, but it's very. It's just once you get the the flavor dynamic right with the the balance of the sugar and whatnot, it's once you get that down pack, it's just basically dump and go. Now the very first Unless one. Unless you're getting cute with the, what's that called? When you fold the the stuff over the. Oh. Uh, I don't know that. No, nah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. I know term. a lot, but I don't know that one. Right, right, right. When you do like the little cross hatch over the top of the peach cobbler, what's that called? Somebody knows. Somebody say it in the comments. Sweet. Sweet. I don't know. Hey, I stay away from that one. I don't know. I actually do add a little bit of sweetened condensed milk to mine. It shouldn't make it sweet, but when you're using three to five different cheeses and they're all sharp or they all have a, a unique flavor to them, that little subtle sweetness kind of marries all the flavors together. Uh, so I do add a little sweet and condensed milk to mine. Didn't today because we don't have it unless you do have it. But if not, um, I might have some. That's why I usually add a little bit to mine. But it shouldn't be sweet. If it's sweet, they add it too much. You using this anymore? I'm done with that. Okay. What's that? Oh, you're talking about the lattice. lattice. The lattice top. Yeah, that I'll what you're talking that, about? Yes. You're talking about weaving that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, you see the way I do it? I just lay them down there and then lay them right on yeah, top. Yeah, but you like the, you, they, Typically, we'll fold it like one over and then the other one over. Oh, top. yeah, yeah, that's the right. Yeah, I yeah. got it. I'm I'll not doing that. all that. I leave that for work. the pioneer woman and uh, barefoot Contessa and all of them. You know what yeah. I mean? They can weave it in there. But I'm going to get that same look. But uh, hey, I'm, I'm probably going to have a better. Well, it's going to taste better. It's... Go ahead and say it. Get them a drink. <laughs> right. Hey, don't do it. <laughs> we got large elbow macaroni going into the pot. Huh? Thank you. Thank Couldn't you. appreciate it more. Hey, you know what, man? You think about this, bro. Like, hey, between you and I, man, we got like almost six million followers, bro. For sure. Easy. Probably more than that. Probably, yeah. Across probably all platforms. Right, right, right. So, both labs, they both asked me about, hey, I'll make this mother over please. So, somebody over there just asked about y'all. Ah, they all, yeah, they all. That's both. okra? Right, right, right. That's my thing. Hey, I don't have no okra, but that's my. Hey, we made some of that out there. Remember, I made the. Uh, we did do that. It's on oh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's fact. on YouTube. Is that on my channel or your channel? I, it, we did it for you. Hope it's on mine. Go check it out. <laughs> and, and, and make it happen. See if it's on there. Right. Yeah. Hey, they're you know, they're taking my time, but they done. Hey, they're clean, too. Hey, so listen, if you've been following me for a minute, you know how I get out, right? I wasn't able to have my soapy water, but now that I'm about to clean this board up, I'm about to get it like that, and we finna get, you know, I like to clean as I go, because Matt, he'll leave me like this and leave me stuck. Hey, that might be why Nate is here. She's like, nah. Don't blame me. Nah, she's like, nah. I know how to start the dishwasher. Huh? I know how to start the dishwasher. Right. All right, all right we got one. You don't believe in the dishwasher. He said no. God, God gave you two dishwashers and you. Hey, here's the thing. I don't mind washing the dishes, though, bro. <laughs> I don't want to put no dishes up. Ah. Uh, 
So if you guys wanted to know anything before you read that comment, I was, uh, was going to say, if you guys want to know why I've been taking so much time, I take my time with my greens, roll them up nice, you know, cut them. But I got my ham hocks in this, you know, uh, pot behind me, and those have been working the whole time. You know, we don't want to chew on no leather, so we got to get them a little bit, work them, you know, work them down, put about an hour under them. Make sure you guys visit bestofbothworldscookbook.com. You're going to get a signed copy of our cookbook and use the code free ship at checkout and you get free shipping. I'm going to say we'll love those two together. What, the uh, bourbon and Coke? No. <laughs> oh, that's two. <laughs> All right, we got macaroni boiling. What else we got to do? This is my favorite thing to do right here. Excuse me. And Smith. I like that. That's a good idea. Oh, for most She deserves it. She deserves it. Um, I like a good braised short rib. It's it's not the easiest thing to do, so it kind of shows a little bit of labor of love a little bit. So a nice short rib, lamb chops are are nice. Something lobster mac and cheese. You can do the same recipe, but add a little lobster to it. What else is Mother's Day esque? Short ribs, lobster mac, steak. Lamb I don't chops. know. It depends on where she's from. You know what right. I mean? Uh, what is she I like? like I, I, you know, if it was if my mom was here, I'd take her back to what she know from back, you know, from from her her mama time. You know what right. I mean? I'd do something like something deep, mm. you know, deep, you know, like some soul food or something right. like that. You know what I mean? Uh, so most people don't only food with them uh, black eyed peas. Uh, At the end of the day, for Mother's Day, she's probably just gonna be happy that she don't have to cook and right, she don't have right, to do. Right. You know, she's getting catered to. Right. <laughs> Say it again. What, what's the first part? What's the use if you don't use the pork? For which recipe? For the for the gravy. Yeah. Which oh, gravy? I, uh, the beef bacon. Yeah. The beef bacon. Yeah. Porter Road. I'm turning that uh this air down a little bit. Clean as you go, people. Keep your wife, your husband, your uncle, your whoever off your back, whoever's house it is. Right. All right, once the elbow macaroni is done cooking, we're going to add it to the cheese sauce, get it in the oven, and then it'll be about time to fry some chicken. Once the greens get going, they need a little time. The ham hocks probably getting nice and tender. I'm about to check them now. You got to use this. I can use this one. That ain't going to hurt it. No. Cheers. Probably like three years now. About three years now. Long enough where I can call him my nephew. You got that line. All right. <clears throat> While so, we got a little downtime, right. again, best of both worlds cookbook. Make sure you use the code uh, ship free at checkout. Is it free ship or ship free? I keep messing free, ship. free ship. Free ship at checkout and get free shipping and a signed copy. So what I'm doing now is just uh, doing a peel. I like to get that first layer off anyway. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get my onion ready. I'm going to start getting my ingredients ready. I was just looking at that ham hock in there, just seeing where it's at. It's coming. But I'm going to let it, you know, cook. We really want the flavor from it. I really, really wish they would have had the, uh, I wish they would have had the uh, turkey, smothered turkey leg, man. It renders so much meat in there, you know? Yeah. We got any extra bacon? Oh. Uh, Could add that? No. Uh, what's the... Um, guys mm. Mm. Houston's up there. Um, New York. I mean, New York's probably the answer. They, they got it all. Um, New York, Houston, Miami. I like Miami. Chicago's got great food. It's a lot of good answers. Yeah. Hey, you want to move that? Let's let's put some of this. Uh, just cook me up a little bit of this. Gotcha. All right. Hey, so again, like, here's the thing. When you guys see me do something on my channel, you know what I mean? Uh, I must really like it. Like, people send out stuff. We pick up 10, 15, 20 boxes a week. That's no exaggeration. Everybody want me to try something. Hey, we can do this. They trying to pay, you know, all this money. But when I try the product, if I don't like them, I don't put them on my page, you know? And uh, so the reason I'm saying that, look, I talk about Porter Road. Now, they don't pay me to say this. You know what I mean? Every now and then they'll come to me and just say, hey, AB, could you do something like this? And if I like it, I will do it. 
right? But you look at this right here. This is that beef bacon, bro. I got it. I keep it. Asking, what's your favorite dish? You want all of it? Yeah, all of it. I'm going to put it all in the green. Favorite dish? Uh, short ribs. I like to make. That's tough. I like uh, my sheet crab soup is one of my favorite dishes to make. I enjoy cooking steak. I probably cook that the most often. I love barbecue too. So anything on the grill or the smoker. I like playing with different fried rice, you know, recipes. There's a lot of, it's very versatile. You can kind of make it into whatever you want. Pasta, obviously, I make a lot of pasta. That's your thing. Yeah, I do that a lot. Need to not eat as much of it, but <laughs> we're here for a good time, not a long time. It's just easy for you to say, youngster. <laughs> I got one foot in that box. <laughs> you know, you know, shit, hey. I don't talk like that no more. <laughs> I hear you. We just passed an hour? How are we doing on battery? Okay. All right. You check those cameras? Okay. Uh, let me be good. What's the name of the bacon again? Beef bacon. It's beef bacon. And you want uh that was just a plain beef bacon. But if you can get the Applewood flavored uh, beef bacon, and it's from Porter Road. You got to go to their website. I don't know them to have no store, but that's where I ordered from. And when I ordered, I try to get myself, you know, like 10, 12 pounds at a time. Do you have any advice or tips for people getting started on YouTube? I do. You want to take it first? I would say get started. That's the yeah, number yeah, one that thing. Was it. Um, a lot of people think about it and, and they overthink to, it. Yeah, you overthink it. You waste a lot of time trying to get the perfect setup, the perfect equipment, the perfect this, the perfect that. The best thing you can do is just get started. Huh? Right. You don't need all this equipment or nothing like that. Really, you just got to get started. You got to take the first step. You know what I mean? Uh, that's going to be the hardest thing for you to do. Once you do that, you know what I mean? After you probably make about 10 videos, you'll start figuring out what kind of path you want to take. You can look back at your first one, see how good that one, you know, how good your 10th one is compared to your first one. You know what I mean? And if you really like what you're doing, if you're doing it because you love it, then you're going to get better. It just, you know, it, it, it that's just the way it works. Uh, if you're doing it for some other reason, to be popular and all that kind of stuff, then I tell you, I don't know. It'd be a hard chore. You know what I mean? Because there's been a many a times when I'm tired. You got to have the motivation to push through because it's a it. grind. Like there's going to be peaks and valleys. There's going to be times where things are going well and times where things are not going well. And if you don't really love it and enjoy what you're doing, it's going to be hard to come down those stairs and fire up the camera and get to cooking uh, if it's not something you genuinely love. Yes. I didn't have, like it as much. I, I was just about to say, I'm not a fan of it that way. So when I make my dirty rice, I use every other meat but but the chicken liver. Yeah, I've I've done it like that, but it didn't add anything that I enjoyed. I get it; it's probably the traditional way to do it, but right, right, right. you know, let's pull it for a second. All right, y'all. I'm just adding a little bit more water to it because we got a little bit of evaporation. But here, you guys can see, it's on its way, starting to get soft. But we got to get this outer layer because I'm going to still get some of this meat off of them. I got three of them in here. Now, remember, when you get water evaporation, it's just everything, all the flavor and everything stays in the water. Right. I mean, in, in the, the remainder of the water. You're just losing pure water that goes out to the atmosphere. So me adding some more onto it, it just dilutes it a little bit. But I can level it up. I can take a... What is that, better than bouillon? I can put some of that in there. You know what I mean? I'm getting ready to drop this onion in here right now. Big fan of better than bouillon. Yeah. I was asking, you make a lot of shrimp recipes. Shrimp? Yeah. I do. A lot. Yeah. We actually, I got a YouTube video, Shrimp Three Ways. I got three of my best shrimp recipes dropping on uh, Thursday. Funny uh -huh. you ask that. I've been trying to do more of that type of stuff, like trying to incorporate more bang for your buck. You get, feel like you get more out of a, a YouTube video. Right. Still trying to figure it out, man. Even if you see these big numbers, he's got three million. I got one million. That looks like a lot, but you 
even at this point in in your career, you're still trying to figure it out. Nobody hey, knows. Tell the truth though. If you don't though, it will say it best. Yeah. If you don't, everybody they see something, they inspired by, and then they doing it right. Right. So right now, when you think about food, it's probably fifty thousand more food channels than it was when I first started. At this year makes seven years for me, man. Yeah, it's it's a ton. And you, when you first started, it was it wasn't that many at all. Nope. All right. So listen, what we're doing is we're making greens. Uh he's doing something for my greens. We got mac, mac and cheese, cheese. Uh, got fried beans, chicken. Fried chicken, fried fish. Right. A little bourbon. <laughs> All right. So look, I just added my onions, you know, to my water. I got three ham hogs in here right now. I'm getting ready to put these back on the fire. Everything on high. And now we're getting ready to season. This will be about ready for you here shortly. All right. Andre's asking, when are you guys going to visit New York? Hey, I go to New York all the time. Right, right, right. You want to come? We might. I can. If you want to do that, we'll talk offline. But I got the event in in June. It's a big ass event too, so it, it wouldn't hurt to have you there if you want to come. Oh uh, yeah, I'll come. Let's do it. I'll come. Hey, look, drop these in there too. We'll do a little so, book sign in the summer. All right. Well, for sure. This right here, I cut up some andouille. Why you know, not? chicken andouille. So look, he got beef bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this in. Yeah. Let's do no, no splatter. There we go. Smart. Everything but the kitchen sink. Right. That's you guys probably didn't greens, get a chance dude. to see. When I'm making greens or anything like that, I go to my refrigerator and I go in there and look and see what do I have left over or did I have something that wasn't used in another recipe, especially when it comes to the protein. Right, so you put that, you put all of that in there. All of that is flavor. Now earlier, somebody asked me was I gonna do anything with uh, do I put in the uh, red pepper flakes? I don't know. I can talk about date myself. Back in the uh, day, they had a movie called Purple Rain. They might not know about the time, but uh, Morris Day said that they used might to do like a little bit of song and dance. That right here, this right here is that this that ooh wee. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Your boy don't like it too hot. My grandma used to keep mine. Oh, let me bring it back to a boy. Off to the side. Yeah, she making up my own pot. You know what I mean? Because my grandfather, like, if it didn't bite him on his backside, he say that he don't want it. He like give it to him. <laughs> my grandma used to say I was lightweight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is. You getting is. better? Though. I've seen you. I've seen you some spicy stuff lately. Right, right, right. So, uh, so what pantry items should you always have available for those? Great question. Um, obviously, the st staples like flour, sugar. Um, I always keep a little chicken bouillon powder, um, or like better than bouillon bases because you never know when you need to doctor something up or hey, make so a sauce or make a I, gravy. Right, right, right. But I still say still keep yourself four four cartons of the uh, chicken stock. Yeah, always a little broth stock, butter, bacon at my house, bacon fat. Oh, peach cobbler. Peach cobbler, little rum cake, cheesecake. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go keep going. I'm gonna see if you say it. Whatever. Uh, pound cake, seven up you get, cake. You, yeah, yeah, there you go. You get, <laughs> hey, when you say seven up, I'm gonna give it to you. There you go. Come on, sock it to me. Want this in there with the. Yeah, just go ahead. All right. No flavor left behind. No flavor left behind. So what we just added was our uh, chicken and doing and some beef bacon and everything that rendered down that all goes into the pot of the greens right so now i'm getting ready to add a little onion powder a little garlic and my red chili plates oh yeah, oh, yeah. Hold up. hey hold up i got uh i got three compartment trays i got some i would say you bring the bring the booze but we got it already <laughs> right. Banana pudding would be it great. It would be great with it. Good call. Banana pudding would be fantastic. That's my favorite. Right? Yeah. Let's get let's get like hey, uh throw some thumbs up in the chat if you want to see A B take a drink. Huh. Come on, people. Hey, you know what? You better relish this day because it, it don't it don't go down like that every day. Put some put some thumbs up in the chat. 
So oh, Uncle A B can come have a drink. Don't tell me Nader done drink of all my drink. <laughs> Man, I can't keep nothing. Don't blame Nader. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got over there now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm gonna try to work them in like a like two to three a month. You know what I mean? Uh really need to work them in right now because listen. These real quick. Okay. The best time to do it, really use your air fryer like during the summer hot months. You know what I mean? You don't have to like heat up your house or none of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I got a, quite a few of them coming. You Especially know, out here. Oh man. I'm hot right now. Yeah. How many? A lot. He said it's a, a lot. lot. So much. Let's get a few more. Hey, so listen. Let me call my boy right now. Hold on. Let me call him. Hey, because listen, you guys got to know, the cat that, that make this, that's my homie. You know what I mean? You know, just cool dudes from the neighborhood. Well, let me just say that because he's like the sole owner, but a cool dude from the neighborhood that, you know, like, that just did right, man. Had a dream. Like, how many people can say they have their own outside of, like, Kevin Hart, you know, stuff like that, or Puff Daddy or... Should I even be saying his name right now? Because I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but this right here, y'all see that I put out. It got about a million views on it. I did something with some Kool-Aid. Just a little bit of this in there. And, oh, my goodness. I don't drink that often, you guys. You know what? I'm going to say this, too. I feel like I got to say it. Like, you got to be responsible when you drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't I don't get down like that. You know what I mean? But whenever I get do, an Uber. this is my tool of choice. <laughs> Let me see if I can get him to tap in real fast. Hold on. You got any chicken broth? Yeah. There's none in there. You didn't see it? I didn't. I didn't look the best. How much do you need? Fair. Just a, a splash. Oh, it's something in the refrigerator. All I saw was beef. Oh, I might have used it. Do either of you buy your stuff in bulk from Sam's Club or somewhere? Yes. A lot of times, yeah. But Sam's Club and Costco got good meat department, good selection. And I buy from Restaurant Depot, too. Mm hmm. Definitely. All right, so the cheese sauce is coming back up, reheating it, basically. Um, the elbow macaroni has already been strained. It's cooked. It's salted to perfection. We're going to toss it in that cheese right. sauce, get it into one of these foil pans, top it with the remaining cheese, pop it in the oven that I thought I preheated, but I guess I didn't. But we'll do that now. All right. No, I don't have none, Matt. That's all good. All right. Shout out to all 1,200. How many of them go buy a cookbook? Hey, Best you know of Both what? Worlds cookbook. Go to bestofbothworldscookbook.com. Use the code it. free ship. I love it. You're going to tell me keep a mouth shut. But look, do you know we coming up on 25,000 copies sold? Let's do you it. You know what I mean? No, listen. We need 1,200 you, more so. Hey, but I got to say this, though. We still grow between you and I. We growing about 100,000 people a month. Oh, easy. You know, easy a month. So it's still people that didn't even know that we had a cookbook. Hey, and it's something good to have. You know what I mean? And even if you, even if you have one, you can get a signed copy now because we're going to sign every single copy that gets sold today. You can get it signed, and it's free shipping. Oh, you can't beat that. With a stick. For a good lawyer. So All right now, what I'm doing is I'm adding in my, some onion powder. I'm getting hungry. Real too. chili flakes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and That's toss these powder. elbow noodles. Try not to drip water all over AB's floor. Don't want any ACL injuries. Hmm. Coming in hot. No noodle left behind. Get them in there. Stir it up. Can you turn it off for me, that that eye? He say, who was that? You say you finally made it live, huh? Appreciate you for tuning Appreciate in. Appreciate it. What up with you? That's the noise that everybody wants to hear right here. Okay, so we got that in there. Oh, some garlic, man. You done Save your dirty jokes. Oh, no, I use the dice garlic. We got garlic powder. I'm going to just put a couple Let's of Fold that on in there. If, you really, if you're really feeling yourself, you can throw a little extra cheese in there just to let that melt. Help with that cheese pull for presentation purposes. Say 
Instead of getting them from New Orleans, come down and try our Gator and Crab Cheesecake. Cheesecake? Yeah, I yeah. I don't know about that. Gator. No, I'm, I'm game. Gator right. and Crab Cheesecake? I mean, I got I to I gotta try it. I'm gonna That's one, I'm a fan of that Gator, though. You need them dude wipes when you, <laughs> when you leave out of, when you leave out of there. Hey, I, I, I like that gator, man. I do too, but not with my cheesecake. I gotta try it though. I, I, I gotta try. It. I respect it. I got. Let I just me know how. It. If you say it's good, I'll try it after right. you try it. Hey, I almost missed my plane fooling with uh at Papa Do's in Dallas. Uh huh. I was at the airport, and they were taking a long time. I was like, I just catch another flight, homie. But then they <laughs> finally, it, it you finally said, I'll catch out. another flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had them. The gator bites. I ain't playing around. Which one? That new, that one I just made. That sweet one. Yeah. Did he take the drink? No. What you waiting on? Uh, just want to get. See this. How he, I see how you try to get out of it. <laughs> that fast. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Uh, I look good right there, man. Thank you, man. I do this occasionally. Um. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should do that, though, bro. I did something on my page called Battle of the Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Maybe me and you should be a judge and do the same thing. Or Let's do it. We're flying some people. In, let's in just fly somebody out. Let's try it one time and see what kind of love we get. Let's do it. Hey, let me know. I want you guys to drop an eight. We, we should use a different number. Another whole another YouTube channel and just do that. Right, but we got to give them exposure from our channel. We'll do right. that first. You know, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm with it. We could do our own show. Done. We don't need Food Network. Not for real. They try, they try to take all the money. Unless y'all want to give me a Guy Fieri check, stop emailing me. <laughs> Guy Fieri been cracking heads over there. Man, honey. 70 million, 80 million. Then they want to give me, make me give them 15%. That doesn't make sense. All right, so we got our macaroni and cheese in here. I'm going to hit it with a little... Layer of love on top. That sounds good, but cheese, cheese cake. I don't know. I'm not saying know. maybe it works. A sweet it, and savory it, combination, you know. We got the gator in it, homie. I'm with it. You know, I mean, I just like I said, I tried. I had gator for the first time in Tampa. It was good. I really liked it. All right, you guys. So listen, what I'm getting ready to do is, so I got a little bit of room because of the main burner. On the stove right here is underneath, right? So I'm gonna bring it over here. Mac and cheese ready for the oven. Let me give a little pro tip. I'd already burned myself with a steam burn before. Listen, when you have something hot like this, go ahead and break it away. That right there will get you and leave a nasty blister. Same thing for the grill when you open in a hot grill. Yes. Burp it. I think that's what they call it. Burp it. Yep. Should I pop this in the oven or you want to wait? Uh, How much longer? I think do we better wait. Gonna, give it a, give it a few minutes. Yeah, give it a few minutes. Which one? Oh, yeah, that, that's fire. I, hey, did y'all like when I said, hey, somebody call Jiffy and tell him, hey, you dead. <laughs> <laughs> I put that in the video. Hey, look, so I guess Jiffy ain't coming over here no time soon. That's all right. You know what I mean? So listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take this and just add this to it. You guys probably know how to make greens already. You can cut them down to any size you want to. Yeah, let me see if I have any. This was rolled up. You could just see the thickness. You know what I mean? Uh, which? Oh, you at this camera. All right, so you can see the thickness on here when it was rolled up. I got some thin like this, and some a little bit thicker. I'm gonna get it's some really, behind the scenes. It's really, really up to you. That being said, I love, I love battle locations. Oh, that's somebody been with me for a minute. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't done that in a while, but I'm going to do it now. All of this not gonna fit in here, right? So I don't even try to put it all in here like that. I'm gonna leave it like, you know, leave some left over. Let me see. What did I do with my? Oh. Now I'm finna take it, put it back on the stove. Once it starts to steam, it'll reduce it down a little bit. Then we put the rest in there. All right, mac and cheese is prepped. Greens are getting ready. The chicken's been marinating. We're gonna fry that next. Catfish is defrosted. We're gonna season. I'm gonna let AB season that up and do his thing on the catfish. I'm about to get the next thing I'm gonna do is get the uh, flour ready for the chicken. All right. I'm gonna have you do two batches. Okay. This is, I'm working on something right now with uh some with a flour. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring it. That's what's in that bag right there. We can use that. Okay. 
All right, you know what? I want to get your honest opinion on. For sure, I'm gonna give it to you. All right, you can do it live right here in memory. Well, don't put the pressure on me like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> These little fillets right here. Nice. I got a barbecue sauce about to drop too. We just I just sent off the final batch. Oh, did you? To the I got you, man. I, I just want to know. Give what you me think. my final. I'll have you taste it. It should be ready about eight to ten weeks. They said it'll be on the market. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it. New barbecue sauce about to drop eight to ten weeks. You'll be able to to get it. Just in time for the summer. We too consider traveling Yeah. If they uh make it make it make sense. I was about to say it's got to make sense. That's all. Because traveling is expensive. If you guys y'all don't know this, uh, I'm sure you do because you travel too. You go on vacation and stuff. Like when you fly with a team, you got three or four people. You got pay for three or four flights, three or four hotels. By the time you do one of these events, you uh, lost money. That is so, so true, bro. Yeah, man, it's tough. So a lot of the a lot of the times, people are like, oh, you're charging a hundred or one hundred fifty dollars for a ticket. It's like, I mean, even after that, it you don't make much, if anything. It's really about being able to get in front of the people, meet everybody, get to give you guys a hug, take a picture, sign a book. But and you, I just genuinely love cooking for you guys. So it's more so about that. It's not like a money grab, even though I know it online it can come across as that. But when you really factor it in, after you pay everybody, you pay the venue, you pay the, the chefs and the cooks and the staff that help you do all this stuff, your staff members that fly with you, you're not making much money. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks for tuning in. Grab yourself a cookbook <laughs> while you're here. Hey, Amen. You. That's why I fooled you, homie. You, you I'm a sales. I, before I did this, I was a salesperson. I worked in sales for 11 years. So I'm sorry if I come across that way. But hey, you don't spend all this money and time and effort making a cookbook if you're not trying to sell it to people. I mean, that's true. And we're proud of hey, it. But I was really about to say, I, I was just about to say that. You ain't no need me to say nothing. You know what I mean? Uh, just the fact that we proud of it. Hey, and the most importantly, I'm going to turn this off for a second. Just the fact that we put something out and people want it. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, that's it, a humbling experience. That's a, hey, that, I can't say enough about that. And when I'm out, like for some of these events and stuff, people come up to you like, you know, me and my family, we cook your recipes together. Or me and my husband hit a right, rough right, patch right. and we started cooking together and right. things got better. Like that sort of stuff, that moves me, man. It, it's what motivates me to keep keep doing this. The beans are about ready. All right. We'll just let them roll. They got that's the beauty of something like beans. They can just keep cooking all day. All day. Like chili. Yeah. But you better put chili in the smoker though, because you keep it on that burner. You come back that the bottom of that yeah, bottom that's of your why chili. You got to keep stay checking with it. it every once in a while. Right. Don't sleep. That's right, not on, uh, that one there is it on autofocus? Yeah, Where's your uh, digital food thermometer? Oh, I just put it back on the thing right there. How long do you think on the greens they be before I started anything else? Oh, uh, I didn't do no whole lot of greens. This seemed like I did a lot. Uh, Thirty minutes, about, hour maybe, mm -hmm. about forty-five minutes. All right. So we'll get started on. I can probably throw the hey, mac look. and cheese in soon. Okay. I'll How long do you put it on, in there for? Uh, like 30 minutes. Yeah. Right. Then let it cool for 15. Yeah. Right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right and center. I can go ahead and bread the me, chicken. Where's okay. your chicken breader? Well, let me get it for you right now. Let me get this water ready. You can get everything coming up. Let me see. Once the oven hits 350, we're going to pop the mac and cheese in there, about 25 to 30 minutes on that at 350, or until the top is golden brown and beautiful. I don't use any egg in my mac and cheese. You can if you like, um, but there's no real temperature you're trying to cook it to at this point because we're not, we're not cooking out any raw ingredients. Um, so really, you're just looking for color and consistency when you put the mac and cheese in the oven. So 25, 30 minutes, you can even go 375 if you're in a rush, 20, 25 minutes. Um, so we're going to pop the mac and cheese in. 
I'm gonna get the chicken breaded. We're gonna drop it in some oil until it's done. 165 degrees on the chicken always. And then we'll fry the fish after that. You always, if you're frying fish and chicken at the same time, always fry the chicken first so the chicken doesn't end up tasting like seafood. You see it? The butcher. Oh, that's uh, you got to go to the butcher. Restaurant Depot have them. You got to know what you're buying, though. Usually, if they come in three bone, them the big dino ribs that you're probably talking about. That's what you want to have. I have. Thank you. You know what? Uh, thank you. I have not. You know who you go to for that? His name is. Uh, you got to check out this this uh, channel called Cooking with CJ. Check him out. That dude, I'm CJ, good huh? guy too. Yeah, good dude, man. I like CJ a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, very consistent. Yeah, I go what subscribe he do. to him and follow him. Huh? I was telling him to go subscribe. Yeah, please. To him. You know what I mean? Uh, check him out. You know what I mean? Uh, he got he uses those type of things. I call them like gadgets, but listen, they time savers. You know what I mean? But he uses it. He's an expert with it. How to buy the book? Let's go. I'm glad Let's you go. asked. Uh, visit. <laughs> <laughs> best of both worlds cookbook.com and use the code ship free at checkout and get free shipping and you'll get a signed copy because we're signing all of these copies that get sold today if you buy it today you get a signed copy and you get free shipping i'm gonna take this trash out really i cook it for the the time would be till they're done till they're done you know what i mean like the texture Tender. that you're looking for it depends on how I like mine to have a little bit of bite, but yet still be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right, right, right. right when they stop being bitter, they still got like a little bit of a, a bite to them, but they're they're pretty much tender. Right. So I'm gonna say I keep them on high. I stay with it, make sure I don't lose all of my water. Right. So that they steam. And uh, I usually go about 45 minutes to an hour. You know, what I mean, and at 45 you don't minutes, I cook them all day. That's true. I, I feel like our grandparents and and some of the older old school recipes make you cook your greens for six seven hours. You don't really got to do that unless you're in a crock pot or something like that. But the process is really getting the, the protein tender. So if you're using smoked ham hocks or smoked turkey, that's really what takes a little bit of time, especially if it's frozen. It'll take a couple hours to get tender. That's the longest part of the process. The actual greens themselves don't take longer than, like you said, about an hour. Uh, underneath you is a trash bag. Uh, what's the okay, we're cooking uh, mac and cheese. We're doing our mac and cheese. We did the mac and cheese out of the book. Yep, mac and cheese. The mac and cheese that we just did right now that you just saw him prepare, that's out of the book. Mac, mac and cheese, collard greens, fried chicken. Fried chicken also out of the cookbook. Oh, that's right. Yep. Mac and cheese, fried chicken, fried fish, and cowboy beans, baked beans, barbecue beans, whatever you want to call them. Mac and cheese is in the oven now. We're going to bread the chicken. The oil is coming up to temperature right now, so we're going to drop that, get that frying. After the chicken's done, we'll drop the fish. Greens will be done by then. Mac and cheese will be done by then. We'll be ready to eat. The beans are already done. We're just going to keep them on a low low simmer. It's the frying of these uh, of this fish and chicken. It's going to be nice. Oh, yeah. If you want. Did I? I did well. No, this this right here. To be honest with you guys, uh, this the book that we have right here in front of us. <laughs> they, they said that I make another. No, I didn't make another. This is our very first cookbook. It's just that everybody wanted to know. Be, they wanted to know when was it coming back in the stock in stock, right? So we sold. This will be coming up on twenty five thousand copies, right? So everybody been asking about it, and you guys can fault me for that. I, after he kept saying, "Bro, we got to bring it back, man." And I kept saying, no, we finna get this next book. And the reality of it is, like, we ain't got no time to even finish the book. Now, we've started the new cookbook, which will be part two to this one right here. But everybody was asking about this. And because we grow between each other over right at about 100,000, I think, uh, a month, those people don't know. And we want to give everybody a chance to, you know, pick up a book. Yeah, a lot of you people have been I mean? emailing and asking, well, when are we going to restock? So it's, it's perfect timing. Heading into the summer, there's a lot of grilling recipes in there. There's also plenty of stuff in there for the holiday season. So 
uh, rolling into the summer, right into the fall. We got you covered. Have you ever cooked greens in pressure cooker? Flavor is fire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you do it in about half the time. You do it in half the time too. You know, I just, I just don't. You know what I mean? Uh, I do it like old school. And then in the beginning, when the pressure cooker, uh, all them little, all of the different gadgets that came out. Everybody didn't have them in the beginning, you know what I mean? So I stayed in my lane, but they have some channels that are dedicated to using Ninja Foodies and, you know, all the other stuff. I leave that up to them, you know what I mean? But if you ever want to learn how to, you know, cook straight up, you know, from the rip, you know what I mean? Uh, come see your boy AB or Mr. Make It Happen, and we put it in there. And if you guys already know and you follow this cat right here, you know that he cooks a little different than I do. So the title of that book is very, very on point. When I say best of both worlds, you're getting it. Absolutely. And you're getting it for free shipping and a sign. <laughs> hey, homie. I got, hey, we finna open up a network. You finna run that one. Let's do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. You know, it, it, it's that right there. Homie, that just make it, it make it, 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 it make it, it motivated. Now, yeah, you're right. It just it's humbling because it, you, you feel like you're just cooking, but then you know right, the other right, people right, they tune right, in, they, right, they spend right. time, you know, watching and right, right, right. It's hard to. It's kind of like you got imposter syndrome. Like you don't feel like you really deserve to be doing what you're doing, but it's you know I'm thankful for it. I appreciate you guys. I wish my teacher, man. I went to Horseman Junior High School. I wish my teacher, Miss Hicks. You know, I could never ever speak, bro. In front of nobody, that's been a phobia of my life. Yeah, like just speaking in front of large audiences, bro. Yeah. I couldn't even speak in front of my class uh, classroom. I had to do a, a book report. That was half my grade. In other words, I had to recite uh, uh what was that? Uh, Franklin's the one that go four score and seven years ago, yeah, whatever yeah. that is. So she called my name. My name last name Brown, homie. I was like the second person who went up. I stood up, looked at everybody. She said, "You got three seconds, AB." Now she told me I didn't say nothing. She said, "Fail." She said, you better have an outstanding book report. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, How, was now, I mean huh? How was the book report? Oh, I got A on my book report. <laughs> yeah, but now, homie, I just, it doesn't, it, I, I do it. Like, you you see how it, we so far away from how it used to be. Yeah. Remember, like, we, we were still shuffling when we first got together. Right. Now, homie, nobody say nothing. It's just like, uh, hey, we on in 10 seconds, bro. Yeah, I mean, You're you like, get just, used to it. Yeah, you just get used to it. A seasoning? Okay, so that'll be on both our channels. You hit yours, I hit yeah, mine. So mine's uh, MrMakeItHappen.com. You can get all of my products there. I got seasoning, chef knives, food thermometers, seasoned flour, cookbooks, you name it. All of it's at MrMakeItHappen.com. And then for me, mine is at SmokingAndGrilling.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. Everything is there, but if you guys want to get a sample of them, here they are right here. There's my barbecue rub. It's my burger rub. Wait. I want to try that burger rub. Oh. I saw that in the pantry. I was about Creo to kick. Steal that ain't mine, but listen, I'm connected to that Creo since you don't, kick. Since you don't send me none, I hey, figured out. Hey, that's how I feel about you, homie. I, I ran out of your seasoning. It's all clumped up. I won't go say nothing. You talking. All right. Oh. <laughs> What was I going to say? All right, so I put them back. So you guys can just go on the website, you know, pick them up. That's you good. know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah. Put that there. That's I use it. Should have put that in the beans. Huh. Yeah. Got a little, little heat on the back end. It's good. Right. Matter of fact, I am going to put that in the beans. Hey, so listen, you guys see what I do, right? I have to cook in the clean kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to see my dishes like that. And, huh? Oh, is that right? Man, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing worse than being full and then having to go clean. Nobody wants to do that. Hey, but look, my homie like this. He said he, he loved to cook. I go to his house, we cook together, but it, it get me going because he, he leave it there. He said, because when I cook, homie, after I cook, they clean. Him and his kids. I appreciate kids. that also, but... <laughs> If you're the one that has to cook, I mean, has to clean, you don't want to clean on a full stomach. Oh, that's true. That's true. So it's better to do it, and then when you, you know, when you're done cooking, you're done eating. 
Hey, homie, we need to make, I need to make that shirt, homie. Let's do it. Uncle and nephew coming to a town near you. That's all you got to do is say, Uncle and nephew coming to coming to H-Town. With our little silhouettes. That's it. Hey, but I don't want to do that because if you ever seen a silhouette of uh, Alfred Hitchcock, uh-uh. you, you ain't never seen it. He, it's sideways. Uh-uh. So when he walks into his silhouette on the show, that's an old show, but he like this. I don't <laughs> want my silhouette on there like that. <laughs> you got to do the front face and silhouette. There you go. So we pay, so to bring everybody up to speed, and this is about that time. We 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 over halfway. We're gonna be doing uh fried chicken. We got that marinating right now and that buttermilk. We got some uh catfish fillets. We're gonna fry those also. We got greens going, and then we got some uh barbecue baked beans going over. More like a country style uh baked beans. I forgot to pick up some uh some ground beef. That would it that would be all nice. good. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and bread this chicken, get that ready for the fryer. These tops that you get when you buy your foil pans, utilize them. I'm going to use them to uh, put the chicken in once they're breaded. No need to let it go to waste. This has been, uh, you know, marinating for about two hours now, which is a, a pretty, you know, it's good enough. That's about the sweet spot for me. Right out of that buttermilk brine, right on into the seasoned flour. Typically, you want to use one uh, dry hand, one wet hand when you're you doing this. Sheet? I also use this little plastic top. Oh, okay, perfect. No need to make no more dishes. Right, right, right. All right. Then just be in there and be intentional about it. Get in there with your hands and make sure there's no bald spots. Make sure it's coated nicely. Don't Knock off any excess. Kind of squeeze it a little bit. Make sure you get a good crust. That buttermilk helps everything stick. And just repeat that process for all your chicken. We got some thighs. We got dark meat. We got thighs and uh, drums today. You want me to start? Oh, you already started bringing it's already it rolling. All right. It's at about 175, 180 right now. So all right. So once time. you got all that done, look, I'm going to bring the burner out here. I'll transfer and we yep. can cook right in front of everyone. Beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up a, a, a baking sheet with a cooling rack. Yep. So one Wire rack. Right. Perfect. <clears throat> So if you got if you're at home and all you got is season uh no seasoned flour you just got all purpose flour season it with whatever you like i like to add a little uh salt pepper garlic onion powder a little cayenne if you like a little heat some chicken bouillon powder i'm big on that if you can't tell um you can use adobo whatever you got in the pantry that you like on your chicken don't overthink it right if you like it on your chicken, you'll probably like it on your fried chicken. And a lot of it is like test and learn. So you can try one thing one day, and if it didn't work out, the next time you fry, try a different ingredient. So you get your own seasoned flour down pack. Or just buy one of ours. Take out all the guesswork. So look, I got these these uh splatter guards. I coming. like those. Yes, sir. Like that? Look. Yeah, that's I need one too, because my kitchen gets all all messed up. Spider guards coming to a store near you soon. I fry so much stuff. A lot of people told me, man, it ain't even worth frying chicken. But I'm just like, man, people are getting back to like doing things, you know, with the family. You know what I mean? Uh, why wouldn't you do it? You know what I mean? Now, when you go to uh, these chicken places right now to get a to feed a family of four, you're gonna spend about twenty eight bucks at least. You know what I mean? So you can make this look. That whole family pack of uh, chicken right there was only like eight bucks. Yeah, especially the dark meat's cheap, man. You get the thighs and the drums for the low. Right. Maybe you selling more knives. Huh? Are you still selling knives? Yeah, I'm still selling the knives. You see, I'm using it right here. Here it is right here. But listen, we need to switch to this one now. That's just slicer because, I'm, you know, outside, you know, we got all them big heavy meats. I got a uh, a pork butt getting ready to be done. I do all my scoring with this. You know, I did a, uh, what was that, a tomahawk steak. You know what I mean? You cut down the, the big ribs. All of that is done with these right here. But summertime, it called for this right here, folks. Chicken's almost ready to be dipped on into the hot tub. Use whatever oil's in your budget or whatever you have on hand. I prefer peanut oil if you got it. It's a little bit more expensive. It does last a little bit longer, too. So, you know, the, the extra money that you're spending, you might save a little bit of that by being able to reuse it. But uh, use whatever you got, whatever's in the budget. 
You're already frying it, so what the hell? Don't overthink it. Cooking doesn't have to be that complicated. I got something coming for you right now, Matt. Yes, sir. I like to bread my chicken about 15 minutes before it goes into the oil. It gives the uh, flour time to really adhere to the chicken. That way it sticks to it, gets you a nice crispy, uh, crispy exterior and juicy interior without all the breading falling off and burning up at the bottom of your fryer. Making your oil all nasty. Yep. So with that, pro tip is make sure you shake them too. Yep. You know what I mean? When you shake them, that keeps your oil as clean as possible until, you know, until you finish. Absolutely. What'd you do with that uh, paper that it came out of the, the, the uh, is that in here? Yeah, it must be. Or it's in the last one. Probably so. Okay. You want to keep it? Yeah, I did, but oh. that's good. How do you buy the book? Best of both worlds cookbook. Dot com. Can right. we link to it, Mitzi? Mitzi, can you put it on the screen? Best of both worlds cookbook.com. Use the code. What is it, Mel? Free ship. Free, free ship. ship. Or is it ship free? I keep saying I, I've said both. I might no, I know it. I know what it is, but I'm messing with you now, man. Huh? I do. Damn energy drink. Yeah, I got one. Take a shot. No, nah, that's okay. Look, for the fish. They be taking a shot. No, not yet. I'm ready to take it down. <laughs> what? No, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me go get it. Time out. Come here, man. Hold on, let me go get it. We got all the thumbs up in the world. Yeah, here it comes. Ain't nobody saying nothing. You know Jesus. what I mean? Jesus. Now we're going to let him slide, too. Don't worry, I'll drink enough for the both of us. Let me see if I can't get Dame in uh, once I tap in with this right here. How are we coming with this camera here? This We just lost that. Huh? What up with you, man? What you doing? Hey, uh, hey, go go to my, my page and go, go to the lie. I'm finna talk to you in a lie. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been live for like the last hour. They can hear me now talking to you right now. But look, everybody told me to take a drink. You know what I went and grabbed? I went and grabbed my tool. You know what I'm saying? But you can check it out later, though. Hey, look, take some pics, though, for me. We need two shots out of them now. Oh, I didn't even know. Is it? I didn't even know nothing about it, bro. Okay. Hey, look, let me get out of here, man, because I'm on. I'm in this live, so... Look, that's cool. I, I, you know, just watch the replay. All right, man. All right, later. Buy a cookbook. <laughs> All right. All right, chicken's ready for, for frying. I'm waiting on the oil to come up to temp. For some of these larger pieces of chicken, typically I like to fry at 350. For these larger pieces, sometimes I might go a little lower, like 330, 3, 335, just to give it a little bit of time so that the exterior doesn't get too dark while the interior is still cooking. If you ever run into that situation where the, the chicken looks done on the outside, like it's the color that you want, finish it in the oven. Just pop it in the oven, 350, 400, until the internal temperature reaches where you need it to reach. Mac and cheese is looking beautiful. And then ham hock starting to come loose. I can smell it. You see it, look, it's, it's breaking up on its own. Yes, sir. It's almost time to eat. Okay, so look, you can go ahead and put that on. I'm gonna I'm getting ready to bring you uh I'm just gonna let that get a little bit warmer and then I will bring it over right. here. Okay. Here it is over here. Cool. You wanna work on that uh fish? That way when I finish with the chicken, you drop the fish and we'll be done. Got it. Beautiful. First, before you do that though, can you do me one favor? Yes, sir. Let me let's take it. that shot. All right. Oh, you want me to take a shot? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, you wanna bring it over here, man? Oh, let me go over here. No. Please bring it over here. Let me Mr. go. Mr. Bartender. Here. We wait in AD, drink, drink, drink. <laughs> all right, all right, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. Huh? All right, so look, this is going to be my tool of choice. You guys got to check it out. If you're in California, it's just about everywhere. It's in all of the, uh, it's in all of the, you know, the, the stores. It's real smooth. It's not nothing that like bite me, you know, because I'm scared of that bite. You know what I mean? So, huh? Oh, you got one open. Okay, yeah, no. 
How do you Grab know? us a shot glass or a red solo cup. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then cabinet. That cabinet. Second cabinet back where you was at. This is fine, man. We need to do this more often. No problem. Hey, I'm going out to uh, Virginia, you guys. I'll be out here. Uh, I'm going to say I'll be out here like in the next three three weeks. You got to look at your schedule and just Whenever let me know. Whenever you want, man. If it's a weekday, I'm good. On the weekends, it's a little dicey, but okay. weekdays, I'm good. Make it Let's a double. A Let's make it a double. Yeah, it's a double. No, no, no. A little double no. bubble. No, no, no. Wait, just give me. I'll do it, man. I'll do it. Hey, check it out. Anybody that know me know I'm look, not no follow. I don't look peer I don't, pressure. Hey, that little peer pressure don't mean nothing. I'm taking this peer one right now because I'm comments, this people. Be peer pressure. Time I didn't hit a drink uh-huh. since this. No, I take that back. I did that one with that Kool Aid. Peer pressure. <laughs> I take that back. Oh, in the comments, peer pressure. Man, that that looks look, a little weak. That looks a little weak. Yeah, you know, I just, just another uh, give him another yeah, one. Uh, what part of Virginia? I'm in Virginia Beach. Man, set something up, bro. Why don't we meet everybody? Done. Man? Come. I got I got a couple restaurants out there. We can we can do Hey, so look, let me know. If I come out here, would you guys want to come and uh do a little meet and greet? We just come, turn up, sign, have fun, go live. Now hold that. Oh. Now you look like you that's got some. There you go. Okay, that's a real one there. That's a big dang, dog dang. shot. Just give me hey, you a shot. Your shot. Okay. I'm I, done after that. I used to like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm done after that. Till Wait a minute, you Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Hey, yeah. hey, look, I ain't even had a drink yet, bro. I know you want to tell me, like, hey, shut up, man. I got it, bro. All right. So check it out, folks. Here we go. One. Cheers to oh, that's right. y'all. God, this feels heavy. Let me you see. just eyeball that? What is that though you're drinking? Bourbon. My this straight This is not clear. a shot, brother. Yeah, yours heavy than mine, look. Cool. I know. Yeah. Mel. <laughs> no. Right. Here, you take the oh, pocket. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry for cussing on your platform. I All know right. you You got the church crowd. <laughs> ah, beautiful. There you go. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We got to clip that. That needs to be the intro to this video. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you ain't never had nothing in your life, like when you <laughs> swallow that, hey, look, I can feel everywhere it's going go. down that shoot. All right. Don't answer. Okay. I want to ask you how you stop it. She got the pan up too high or whatever she cooked. And right. Depending on what you're cooking, if you sear something first, you might need to just do salt first and you sand it and then season it out. But I mean, depending on what you're cooking, though. Right. Also, you probably need to add a little, little, a little butter or oil to the skillet. Um, so there's a couple of things. I, I, we live in uh, the TikTok world where everything got to be heavily seasoned, and I'm, I'm on board with that. I like my stuff to be right before it's too salty. That's where I like mine. But if you're going to sear something, all the pepper and the dry herbs and those things, those things burn on the, on the skillet. Things like salt doesn't burn as much. So if you're going to season, like, say, we're making chicken and rice. If you're going to season skin on chicken, you want to season the skin with just salt. Underneath the skin, you add whatever you want. But the salt's not going to burn and stick to the skillet. True. Yeah. All that's right. But you still forgot one thing, though. When somebody asks that kind of question, I hear that quite often. I like to see what they started with, too. Yeah. Everybody say this it's cast iron skillet is all uh, is it seasoned. Season. And then when I look at it, I was like, no, nah, you probably it's need not it. glistening. So even when you make one, here, hold on. When you season a cast iron, it should be smooth like glass. We got a top five beautiful mac and cheese bubbling right now in the, in the uh, oven. I would probably argue with you, but you made it here in the kitchen right. with me, so I'm gonna roll with you. And it's a because I make a mean one on No, nah, that's it right here. It's, it's on the way. <laughs> so let me see something for a second. What did I do with them cast iron? I'm no, I got. Oh. I kept this away because I don't let nobody cook in it. I know nephew, me and you, we do everything together. But nephew, I had to keep it away, man. Hey, he's he's breaking huh? out Lucille. Yeah, <laughs> man. So if you guys pay attention and look at this one right here, this is a seasoned cast iron. Smooth. Awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, this is what you want. And this right here, this is a good start. I set it off to the side because I'm gonna go over this about five more times. 
you want it to be just like this countertop right here. It should be just as smooth. When you got it like that, then you got it right. So I just say, I suggest that like on a weekend, you're not doing nothing, strip it down, put it in your oven, do your whole thing. You could do it about five times in one day. You know what I mean? Let it cool, then wait. You know, if you can, do it on a Saturday and a Sunday. I'm saying best result 10 times. Another thing to keep in mind, uh, this may be not the exact question that you're asking, but it's a common question too. Sometimes when you add a protein to the skillet to sear it, it sticks. And people are like, well, it stuck to the pan and it, and it didn't work out. If it's stuck to the skillet and it's not a nonstick, so say it was a cast iron or a stainless steel pan, if it's stuck, it's not ready to flip yet. Once it's ready to flip, it you'll, it'll release and you'll be able to flip it. So just be patient. Hey, so I got a shirt right now that I'm working on called Trust the Process. There you go. Don't rush that, it. That, that's business and cooking. Right. Uh, maybe Z from Brazil is saying hello for, uh, to you. Shout out to Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Hey, them some of your folks, man. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> hey, what up, Z? Hey, I know right now what's going to happen is you're about to have like 400 Brazilians out here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be in here cooking. Y'all like to cook on that, 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 that long rod with the meat on there. You know what I mean? It's like, what is it called? Got it. Got it. Um, Boy, that right there knocked me uh for a loop. Yeah, that knocked me for. Get your little water. You be all right. Whew. You gotta get back in the game. I gotta get back in the game. That, mean, that means hey. you need another one. Hey, no, 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 no. My dad used to say I need another one, just like the other one. There are cast iron skillet recipes in the cookbook, but not no. Not no, no we didn't put. We didn't. We it. didn't put like how to season it. There's you got a YouTube. video. I got a video that. doing that, but I'm getting ready to redo that video. I need just, to do one. I still haven't yeah. done one. I feel like there's so many. I didn't get out of that mindset. I'm like, there's a hundred of them. I don't need to do it. Like with trimming a brisket, for example. Like the best one is Aaron Franklin. He trims the brisket like a fucking, pro uh, like a professor. Right. Why am I going to go do that when I can just link to his video? But I need to do one. Too. How do you that, that right there got me. They got me right, homeboy. Might as well let you know. <laughs> just, hey. How do you strip the cast iron for a loose season? You need like a Brillo pad, like a uh, SOS pad or one of those, uh, whatever Ooh. you call that, and just give it a good scrub, uh, clean it thoroughly, and then season it. So Dude. get all of the rust, Look. all of that stuff off of there. Chain all. Yep. All of that. Ah, uh, That'll do it. I ain't had nothing to eat, homeboy. <laughs> that, that got me, uh... Don't pull a nada in here. Mm. We might got to cut. Uh, Don't worry, I got some coaching coming salt. right up. Chain all. Get in there, need clean some it. chicken on the fly. Yeah, some soap. Somebody told me I shouldn't use soap on my cast iron. I, I don't get, believe that. But listen, I was like, if you quit skimming through the video, you would have just listened to it. You'd have understood. This is how we strip it. I use soap on mine, though, just a little bit. I don't. Yeah, I, I've got one I've had for 12 years, and it's beautiful. Look just like the one you brought up. Best one I ever had. Was, it's uh, large. It's so old, it don't even say large on it no more. No. Oh. That's an understatement. It's so yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> He'd be. I got his back. He'd be all right. Nephew does this all the time. Woo. <laughs> Let's get another one. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm good. This is great. Don't put this. Uh oh. Put, no. Oh my bad. Yeah, let me, let me back up. <laughs> hey, you know I'm gone. <laughs> I just took the top off of the green and put it over the. Uh, you all right? Over the oil, the hot oil. <laughs> I got you back. All right, guys. Best of both worlds cookbook. What is the mail? Ship free, free ship. Free ship. Free ship. Free ship. Chicken's coming up. You get a signed copy from both of us. <laughs> He's good. I ain't never. Uh... He's portrayed. Fat. I ain't never portrayed to be that dude to just be drinking. That, that, that just never was my thing. I like to mix it with some Kool-Aid or something like that. That's all right. Hey, it's hot in this mother right there. I hope if I start glistening, I'm about to look like a pastor earlier today. Uh, well, oh, this is what the people want to see. You know what I'm saying? I about to... three more minutes on the Mac. We're gonna have a top top three, top five. Oh man. Huh? Oh, we do it all the time. We do it all the time. 
That's called an Irish breakfast, people. That's an Irish it? breakfast. If you want to take that, that's why I got so many. I'll move it out of the way. No, no, I'm saying you want to put it on. Uh, it's ready. You... Okay. Oh, no need to waste one. We'll just keep it in here. Okay. It's ready, though. All right. She's ready. Man, I need to eat something. I'm coming behind you with this hot oil. Get out your way. Pro tip, people never, ever transfer, transport, or move hot oil in the kitchen. Very unsafe. So as your parents used to tell you when you were kids, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> All right. Because uh, I don't want y'all to drop that and burn your foot off. Huh? Play it up. Yeah. 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 Got to do that. We'll do a family style, though. We're not going to play it like individually. I'm going to call the mac and cheese. Finito. Hey, y'all. I was thinking, like, I might not should have no sharp knife in my hand. Oh, you had, you'll be all right. You want me to do it? You got it. <laughs> That's what the people want to see. That's what they want to see. We got to do uh, grilling and drinking with AB. Grilling, grilling and drinking, huh? Cooking and drinking with AB. That's the next YouTube channel. Make sure I go subscribe right now. I'm going to trademark that as we speak. <laughs> Still ain't up the temp. Still not, huh? Coming through hot. I'm looking for 350. What's this right here? Oh, that's for the fish. For the fish. I said that looked darker than the flour. That's right. cornmeal. Let me show you guys this beautiful mac and cheese. Bobby Flay could never do this. Hey, you know, I like Bobby Flay, man. Eh. I like your story, bro. That's what you got a good story, huh? You got yeah. a good story about how you didn't graduate from high school, how you took a chance. You know, you was working. Uh, Cry me a river. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. just kidding. Love you, Bobby. Give me a hard time. I don't know if you can focus in on that. Use your uh, your the, the knob, the knob it's on the other side. Though. The focus ring, the other side. Hold on, y'all. Get it right now. Right now, right there, man. Look. Oh, this one. Okay. It's about to pull out. I see it all bunched up there. It's all right. We'll fix right, it. Right, right, right. All right. Got to transfer to the other side now. Mac and cheese, folks. Yeah, Let that cool on. for a bit. Look at that set. Touch that back screen because right now it's on my. Uh, there we go. Once the oil reaches 330, 345 ish, somewhere between 325 and 350, we'll drop the chicken. All right, you got a spider? I do not. Tongs or a spider? That'll work. That's perfect. I'll probably drop it a little early because these are, these are big pieces. If it was wings, I'd do 350 on, on something a little larger. I try to go a little lower on the temp so it doesn't overcook the outside. We about there, probably. 315, 320. Yeah, you there, because it's going to settle. Though. 330. Uh, 26. All right, cool. All right, so now in goes the chicken. The key here is to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom or stick to each other. Because if that happens, it burns. I'm going to start with all drums. This, that way I know what I'm working with. Right, right. Smart. You start doing different pieces of chicken at the same time. You got, you know, different cooking times. And we don't want that. We'll fry this in like two or three batches. Just give it some time. Let it do its thing. 
you can get it with your tongs or your spider and just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. They're not huddled up and sticking to each other. Hey, so look, a lot of people that be in your uh, premiere on Sundays, uh-huh. they be in mine. I was in your premiere. I don't, oh, I don't I like to talk. I don't like to talk, you know, because it's, it's, it's about you, you know, in your time. You know what I mean? So I'll be in there. You know, I'll make sure I hit the like. You know, and I watch. Well, I see a lot of them say I'm going to head it. Yeah, they, that's what this. I see them. They say that. Yeah, but the cat drill. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, hey, he, he ain't missed one. He don't miss nothing, man. You know what I mean? And I got that from you. The, the going live on Sunday thing. Yeah. Huh? Okay, we just hit two hours. Look, we it's coming up to the end, folks. We ain't got that much battery to even make it too much further. You know what I mean? Uh, We're almost done. Almost done, though. What you need? Tongs. Tongs, yep. Right here. I just want to make sure I break them up. The part rest of them are probably in here. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, them look good. Hey, you can't go wrong, folks, having me and Matt in your kitchen. Nice. Hey, we should do a contest. We'll fly to somebody's house or fly them to us, actually. Right, and serve them. That's what we should do. Huh. Fly we'll my for the full spread. Vegas experience. I'm with it. Hey, y'all like that? We'll pick like one person and they can bring two guests or one guest. What's the liability on that one, though? They got to sign waivers. Yeah, you got it. Hey. Uh, for yeah, sure. Don't come here without no pen. You signing all the waivers. Yeah, We're not responsible yeah. for nothing. <laughs> right. But we're going to fly you out here on our dime. Check it out. This is Vegas, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get out here and get lost. That ain't, ain't on us. Me. That ain't on me. I gambled away my mortgage. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. I wanted to do the same thing. Hey, what you doing tonight, night, though? Um, mm-hmm. Just dinner. You ain't trying to hit no tables or nothing? Whew. I just pay my taxes, man. I, <laughs> the tables hit me. Oh, man. Let's do it, man. We got to figure out a contest. Right, 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 right. Definitely got to buy a cookbook to be eligible. Oh. If you don't got a confirmation number on your cookbook, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, but, but look at what you're getting, though. That right there, that's nice right there. Hey, but you like you liking that batter though? Is it? Is it's, it's, it's looking good. It's looking. I, I got it. I got. Hey, I want the real, homie. I'm I want the real. I want the real. It's looking good. You, you say pull it up again. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. The colonel can't do it better than that. But that's why I like to start it a little bit uh, lower on the temp because it gives the, the interior of the chicken time to get yeah. done. We're not cooking the outside. So if you drop that at 350 or 360, the outsides will get dark and the insides will be raw. So you do it a little bit lower when it's a larger piece of chicken, mm-hmm. slow roll it a little bit, and it'll be good to go. I ain't going to lie, homie. I'll, I'll feel it. I'm just going to let you know. I don't want you to know I had about four drinks before I had that shot. I don't know. How you do it, homie? It's kind of like my comfort zone. This is where I feel my best at right here. My back's a little tight, but I'll be all right. I'm a little out of shape. I got to lose about 15 pounds. Eating all this chicken and flying all over the country, eating food. Not good for your physique. I'm going to get it together, though. Another pro tip when it comes to frying. When you drop uh, protein or anything for that matter into oil, what happens immediately is all the water expels out of it. So what you're hearing is the water or the moisture coming out of the chicken. And that's what that loud sound is when it's kind of like boiling or bubbling in the fryer. As it gets closer to being done, the chicken will get quieter. So two things will happen. It'll start to get quiet and the meat or the chicken will start to float. When that happens, you're pretty sure that it's about done. Always use a food thermometer to double check, make sure it's right. But as it starts to get more quiet and float, it's ready to go. Let me get a little oil. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Go to bestofbothworldscookbook.com and use the code smell. 
Free ship. Free ship. <laughs> Gotta make you do something. You just over there on your phone. Hanging out. Come fry some chicken, man. You taught me how to fry chicken. Shout out to my team too, Mel, Moody, Rhino, all my guys. If you haven't subscribed to my new YouTube channel, Make It Happen Media, we do a lot of food competitions, food reviews, podcasts, things of that nature. AB will else. be on that soon. I got something else then. I'm going to bring my team. Let's get your team. Oh, please. Huh? Nada can't <laughs> fry no chicken. Hey, Mitzi, I'm not bringing Nada. I'm bringing Mitzi. Tell him, Mitzi. Come tell on. him who was making the greens for the restaurant. Hey, Mo- Moody can cook now. Yeah, I know, man. Uh, I don't know. It depends on the genre now. If you want to go, you want to go Spanish, homie. I got you. I got you. All right. You. Now you might got me beat. That's not fair. I got you. That's not fair. Hey, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta put the shit in there. Dude. We gotta stir it up and pull something out. Like, oh, we mentioned it, homie. Not fair. You dead in the water, homie. <laughs> but you know what? I'm standing up for my team. Hey, now I got a Brazilian. Now I can cook on that. What was that called again? Okay, whatever that is. Spanish over here. What's yeah, going on? I don't know. Hey, you know what? I'm it's say it's like not this. giving equal opportunity I'm employment. Gonna... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Somebody asked me that. They was like, AD, how come you don't never have none of your folks with you working? I just said, man, every time I get somebody here, they want to do some work, man. They want to kiss the babies and shake the hands before I even get to it. Nobody want to do the work, bro. Or they show out when I'm gone. You know what I mean? Just like, oh, my God. And then how we know it's ready? That thermometer. Yes, I got sir. It right over here. Hey, I want you to take this though. It's about the time I'll go ahead and give it a probe, make sure it's right. If it's not, throw it back in there. You guys want to hey, tell us about your little bike. But... What was the whole thing? Hey, that's what's up. Fly me in. Fly you in, huh? We, hey, we just might do that. Put something together. Getting close. Getting close. Here. Say something and tell me you like that texture. I like the texture right there. That's the greens to me. I got it. Okay. Hell yeah. That's like my uncle used to make. <laughs> got a little spice on it, too. I wonder why, nephew. A little spice on it. Okay, so you go in there. I think I'm gonna use one of these aluminum pans, so I ain't gotta get no more of those uh what's this all up. Oh, you know what I use a top. We need to use your little what's the uh huh? the grease thing. Oh my splatter guard. Yeah, 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 See, yeah. I gotta come in and teach y'all how to market stuff. Right, 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 right. There you go. A B has a uh splatter guard. Right, they're coming out. They're coming out. Yeah, you see it. Listen, if you find I don't always put my top on, even though I have Dutch ovens, you know what I mean? I don't, I like for it to still be able to breathe. You see that steam right there? This right here, I want to be able to Man, be in tune we... with it. You put it on top like <laughs> Tell them about my, it. I do right here. Tell hey, them. so listen, I put it on right here. Look, it keeps me now to clean up all of the splatter around here. Yeah. Look like I'm a little late, folks. But you know all what right. I mean? We put it on here and it keeps all of that in the inside. Allows it to breathe. Don't smother it. What they go do is go to Walmart and buy somebody else's stuff they don't even like. They they love you. They'd rather buy from you. Right. Hey, look. I got another thing, though. I want to ask you this. Do you know what these are for? I don't. Look. Let me. I'll get another one while that's on there. How many times have you met somebody that's like, I didn't even know you had a cookbook? Oh, all the time, time? bro. All the time. So if you guys take a look, let me see if I can get it like this. If you look right here, it's got little feet right here. You see this right here? If you didn't know, it has a dual purpose. I'm gonna move this off the way right here. I got you. All right. If I put this down like this, now it has became a cooling rack. If I'm doing cookies or anything coming out of the oven, I put them on here, keeps it off of the counter, does the same thing as a cooling rack. And that's actually what it is. So it has a dual purpose. Now we're selling. Now this will be available soon. I want one. Oh yeah. Where can I get one? Uh, I, I, I'm deciding on You see, I got the two logos. You know what I mean? So I'm deciding on that. I'm going to make my decision. Uh, I got to have it turned in by Tuesday. So Rob Chavis said, I found out it's 
from both of you. I didn't know you guys knew each other out of those times. Hey, they say game recognize game. And you know it's funny how long we've been working together is two and a half years, almost right, three right. years, almost and people still don't right. know we know each other. Right, right, right. That's hey. the that's why people like I feel like I'm overselling, I'm doing too much. No, you got you gotta see people gotta see stuff seven times for them to, to purchase usually. This chicken's beautiful. No, no, no. Huh? I'm about to that should be hey uh-huh. that should be the thing. Hey, that's the that's the premise oh, of the game no. show. You had them come out. You know what I'm saying? You got to send us a uh, credential video first. <laughs> right. Don't give me that brand, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to send us some uh, some some proof. No, I'm just kidding. I'd love to eat some of y'all's food. Oh, yeah, me too. I like the joke, especially after a few drinks. Y'all don't take me seriously, please. Oh, you know what I'm not. So now the oil's too hot. One pro tip again. I'm the giving a thermometer. frying pro tip clinic right now. If the grease gets too hot, add a little room temperature oil, and it'll drastically reduce the temperature of the, of the oil, and it'll be perfect. So if you ever... Uh, right now, they're just going to come in black. You know sizes. what I mean? They're, oh, different sizes. I like the 12-inch. That pretty much covers... Uh, most frying pans. Most, most frying pans. You know what I mean? It's good for the 10-inch, too. Huh? You got some more uh, frying oil? Uh, yeah. If you look inside... So anytime your oil gets too hot, add a little room temperature oil. It'll reduce the temperature. You'll be ready to roll. I can. Uh, We're making fried chicken, collard greens, mac and cheese, beans, and fried fish. So look. Jesus Christ. This is where, hey, when you say you cook, I don't want to see you come out out of your pantry with... With that little one gallon thing. No, no, no. This, that's the one, this that's, is when you cook. That's when it's time to fry a turkey. Yes, sir. Speaking of that, I got the... Uh, we got a recipe for that in the cookbook, I believe. Yes, we do. But I got the oilless uh, fryer, courtesy of uh, you. You guys sent it out. So add a little splash of room temperature oil to reduce the temperature of the right. oil that you're frying in. Let's get one of these and I'll be out your way. I'm going to use the tongs to kind of stir it up a little bit. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And it's time to drop some chicken. I think we got a good a good batch for two, two batches here. We got some thighs. They're a little bit on the large side. Here go the catfish. Thick thighs. Filets. I want to do something like this at the racetrack, though, bro. But it's hard to like race my car, you know what I mean? Worry about oh shit. But that's all I do is race it. And where you splatter guard at? I got you. There you go. Them thighs are thick. He might not make the cut right here. Hmm. Save him for the ma. How many of y'all in here did uh Catch your own catfish. Some of y'all got some catfish in the in the. Uh, y'all probably got some in the freezer right now that you caught from last year. It's time to thaw them out and get them on the get them in some of this grease. It's definitely time. There it is, man. I love the catfish, man. Me too. That's do definitely you? a southern staple. Yeah, oh hell yeah. Man, I've been telling you, man, you need to do a. Uh, That's what we grew up eating. Or, or catfish. Boy. I like trout. Perch. Perch is one of my favorites. Not really a fan Croker. of perch or trout. Croker's good. I'm uh, you know, I'm from the city, honey. Yeah, catfish like is kind of more palatable for the for everybody. Yeah, for the man. That's why they do catfish nuggets and shit. You don't see trout nuggets. But look, I like it's uh, also cheaper too. I like jambalaya with uh, with uh with black and catfish on top. And if I can, my first choice would be as far as I go. I like to have it with black and mahi mahi. Fish and grits is good. With a little fried catfish too. Yes. Shout out to Coke Zero. Y'all should sponsor me. Big fan. Mm-hmm. You know, AB might got the big brands watching his shit. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> got some beautiful fried chicken, beautiful mac and cheese. Collard greens are rolling. Beans are done. Chicken's almost done. We're going to drop the fish right after this, and then we'll be done. Make yeah, sure you guys go ahead and purchase the cookbook. Best of both worlds cookbook.com. Use the code free ship, free shipping, and it's going to be a signed copy. And uh, 
If we get like another hundred people to buy one, we'll get AB to take another shot. Let's see where we're at on the numbers. Whew, don't say that, man. No, let's, let's do it. One more shot. You be able to go upstairs, take a little nap. No big deal. <laughs> Damn sure we'll have to take one. You're gonna turn this into a call of duty day. That's all right. It's I'll Sunday. see you. I'll see you tonight, though. It's Sunday. Sundays are for this. Let's see where we're at. Let's see how many people actually bought one that said they bought one. <laughs> Give me a name. Who said they bought one? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna double check. Best of both worlds cookbook.com. Use the code free ship. Get a signed copy for free. Not for free, but shipping's free. Shipping free. Well, maybe we'll give out some free ones soon. Who knows? We got to uh, make back some of the money we spent getting these books. Man. Michael Cotman. Let's check. He said, okay. We will double check. <laughs> My old, old manager used to say, trust but verify. <laughs> <laughs> these styles look good. Oh. So if you guys want to know when we put everything out of the, the uh out of these bags to fry, right? I'm working on something to get it out to you guys as far as like a uh, chicken fry and a fish fry. I want him to give me his absolute honest opinion, you know, what he thinks about the seasoning. You know what I mean? Uh you make a cold uh flour too though. Yeah, it's that's good. That's good. Tastes kind of like mine. <laughs> just kidding. No, it's good. It might be though, man. You know what? Uh, I mean, what tastes good tastes good. I don't, yeah, you can't like, you copy my like. That's, if the shit is <laughs> right, sorry. I got nah. I mean, you, that you gotta be yourself. Me. Yeah, it's yeah. like if if the butter and the bacon and the recipe makes it better, and you put it in yours, of course. There's no like nothing's new under the sun. No, nobody's making something brand new. We didn't invent a new fish or a new chicken to fry it's all the same we've been cooking the same food for hundreds of years we just put our own twist on it right. test it a little bit try to provide a detailed instruction that makes sense it's easy to replicate <laughs> that's the best we can do let me close the door i need some more uh you know, a bit cool air work <sighs> that one shot got a b and shambles in here yeah i, I think wanna... you need one more I wouldn't want to be out there on the streets with it. What? That's the best time to be on the streets. Maybe if I, huh? I mean, we have out. I don't really do that walking like that. That's looking good, man. I know. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> That's looking good. It's your flower. That's looking good. It's your flower, my brother. My That's uncle. right. Hey, so you guys drop them comments in there. You know what I mean? Uh, this is like the longest live me and him has ever done. I like it. It's fun. Uh, actually, it is, though. You know what I mean? Again, listen, I hadn't said it as much, but the best of both worlds, uh, truly, you're getting two different styles in this cookbook. Uh, you're getting that 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 old school granny type, you know, for myself, mixed with the, like, today's flavor. Hey, listen, he bringing that new, that new, new to you. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, like, I call you the salmon king, homie. You know what I mean? But look, that's the, that's the pair, though. You salmon and you let me bring that shrimp. You're good to go? You're good to go. Oh, my God. No matter what kitchen we in. Right. <clears throat> So once the chicken's done, we'll remove it. We'll drop the catfish. That fries faster than me at an open bar wedding. And then we'll plate all of this up. Hey, I'll say, man, go ahead and use it, you go. You know why? What's that? Because we can just put them out. Yeah, that's just fine. stack them all that's up. All right. So look, we're going to start getting everything together right now. Throw the beans in there. I know, Mitchie. I know. Hey, Matt gave a shout out to his team. I got to give a shout out to mine. I was just waiting, giving it a little space. Shout out to Mitchie for making this happen. Shout out to Nada. You know what I mean? She put everything together so because she wasn't going to be here. So this was uh, all here. And they uh, are easy for us to do it. And a shout out to the newest team member back there. But hey, man, come on over here, homie. Come on, Mr. Brazil. Come on, man. Mr. Brazil, I don't know. You, want, I might not want to call you that, man. Just give him a just, shot, too. Come Everybody on get a way. shot. Group hey, shot. Man, come I, on, hey, man. I, I ain't known him long enough. He, hey, he might. Hey, be all right. Hey, I don't know, right. know what he's going to do. He'll be all right. It's been a minute since I put these tips on somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to make right. sure he's still good. Come on, man. No, don't be over there, Sean. Don't be shy. Hey, this is him right here. 
you know what I mean? Uh, hey, listen, he's the one that's going to bring back the, uh, the reels, the shorts, and take some of this relief from uh, Nada so she can go out there and do her job. You know what I mean? Uh, so I just want to say, hey, thank you to all y'all, and uh, we finna make it happen. No pun intended. Absolutely. Oh, shout out to Brazil. Please. <laughs> I'm on the way. <laughs> Every time I hear somebody say that, you can put your chicken in here now. Huh? No damn energy drinks. Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. Hey, oh, it's upstairs in the uh, conference area on the it's roof. In the, uh, <laughs> hey, it's in the uh, refrigerator up here. Home stretch. The chicken will go much, I mean, the fish will go much faster. Oh, yeah. These are just big chickens. These chickens have been working out. I don't think it's ready, but I'm going to poke it and see. I can tell by the color. Tell them I said thank you. Blokes. Not yet. Almost. Getting close. Almost. I'm going to go ahead and take these. Yep. Hey, thank you. You know what? Uh, How many y'all been here since the beginning, though? Right. I do want to say, hey, we appreciate you coming in here, you know, spending your Sunday with us. You know what I mean? Uh, I've heard people say they like to hear just our voice, man. You know what I mean? They Even though they're cooking something else, they'll throw on one of our videos. Yeah. And just watch. You know, just like listen to it. Have it in the background. Why not? All right. This is for the beans. I'm going to take care of the beans now. They ready to grow. You know what? I don't want to mess your topping up on the uh, on the uh, mac and cheese, so I'll leave that. It's in a full pan. It's good. Oh. 165. 165. Sometimes for dark meat, I'll go up to 175 because I feel like it gets a little bit more tender. Uh, it's a, a little bit fattier, too, so the fat tends to render a little bit better. So 165 to 175. On white meat, you don't want to go over 165, but it get dry. It'll get dry. But today we got dark meat, so looking for good, good color, good texture, still nice and juicy. Nice dark golden brown crust tends to mean it's seasoned properly. You didn't have no jalapenos, huh? <laughs> did you hear me? I wish I did. Yeah. All right. Home stretch. Here go the beans, y'all. Now you know you can come here and ring the doorbell and come get you some anytime you guys get ready. Throw that address out there. <laughs> Been hot. That looked like it was it, huh? Or close. Already. Huh? Yep, just stop. Yeah. So you went to you went to culinary school because of me? Now that's cool that they went to culinary school. You know what I mean? Uh you following something. I just ask this, man. If you take the time to go to the school, make sure that you put it to use. I know several people that went to culinary school, and they're not even uh, cooking 
or doing anything in the food industry. Right. You know that's, what I mean? That, no. that applies to pretty much everybody that went to school. Oh, you're right. All right. Coming behind you real hot with this oil. All right. It's coming down to the wire, folks. Real Women. hot, real oh, hot. Oh, you just waiting for it to cool off? We still got the fish. Oh, shit. We'll drop it over here, then. Okay. It only took a minute, though. We can drop the fish right now, because this right. oil is hot. Okay. You want to go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, I'll do it right now. All right. Almost forgot the fish. Almost forgot the fish. Got to look out for the pescatarians out there. <laughs> I mean, I get people all the time say, hey, man, A.B., why don't you make something for this, blah, blah, blah. I said, if I make that, it's only going to be about you and eight other people going to watch it. All right. Because nobody comes to a channel called Smoking and Grilling with A.B. For vegan For recipes. vegan recipes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and that's giving you guys a little heads up. You ever want to know why I don't do some things? It's like and I, I like to leave it to the expert. There's expert vegan chefs out there. Oh, I'm that, not an expert. This is true. I'm an expert on the recipes I post. <laughs> And if I post something that's vegan, I'm just Pretending. I'm new to it. Right, right. I don't want to act like I know what I'm talking about. If you want to learn how to make a hot dog, I'm your guy. Matter of fact, I got a new series coming out called Dogs and Hot No Burgers and Hot Dogs. Burgers and Dogs Across America. That's gonna be the name of it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them. I'm, I'm finna start off with a California. I'm finna do a California burger and a uh, and a, and a Dodger dog. Dodger dog. I like yep. that. And then I'm finna hit all the different states. You know, I mean, just show how to make you know quick videos on how to just try. Hey, you know about the Chicago dog already? I had it in Chicago. Portillos. You like it? Ah, uh, no. It just it's too much of a salad. They put pickle and lettuce and tomato right. and all that. That's good. It's all done. I'm just double, triple checking. Yep. Good. Good. The other pro tip is you can pull it about five to ten degrees below where that. it needs to be, and it'll keep climbing as it sits. That's you know what? See, I I, I preach that on my channel. Yeah. Like if I'm looking for 165, I want to see you coming off at 160. Yeah. Especially for breasts or like wing. Well, not necessarily wings, but definitely breasts. You hit the nail on the head when you said, uh, man, the wings can be 175. Yeah, they can go as high as you hot, want them yeah, to, usually. Right. Don't burn them. No I got to say this, though. It's only good serve hot. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, that's hot. What is it called? Bulldozy. It's another spot. If you say it, I've been meaning to get over there to it. That's not the name of it, though. It's called something dog spot out this way. Some dogs. Hey, and then you know what? Anybody in there that you know, a lot of people been asking me about about these boards. I'm bringing boards back. I got a guy that's uh working on some boards right now, just to you know see if this is what we want to do and to make them feasible. They a little bit, you know, when I do boards, they're a little bit more expensive than going to like Etsy or something like that and getting a forty dollar board. As they should be. You know what I mean? Uh, they, these are real boards. You know, real wood, five different woods. Last, last year a lifetime. All right, so so far we got fried chicken, we got mac and cheese, we got beans, greens coming out of the. Oh, I cut the greens off. We go throw them in the full pan. They be ready to rock, and I'll be ready to eat. Right, we only got about five more minutes, folks. Maybe maybe about ten more minutes total. I'm gonna pour these greens out. Damn it, I didn't get that. Uh, what you need? I was gonna make some uh, cornbread. I'll make some after after the fact. Cause we gotta get, you gotta eat that pot liquor, man. I'm gonna Death be honest. Time's called for deficit measures. <laughs> yes, sir. Because Popeyes. Oh. We went to Del Taco to get today, and it was terrible. Was it? Oh my god. I was starving, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. All right, you on that? 
We got a nice little spread going. There we go. Uh, coming through, coming through. Power holder. Huh? Which mic? Oh. Hold on one second, you guys. Let me answer the phone. What up, Big Mike? Yeah, I'm, I'm live right now. Everybody listening, let me talk to you. Right now, Make it count. Make it count. There's 1,200 and, 1,201 people listening to me right now talk to you. Yeah, I'm almost done, though. We almost finished. We uh, we got the chicken out, mac and cheese, cowboy beans, greens, and uh, fried uh, catfish. Hey, well, look, look, look. Let me, let, me, let me call you right back. Let me just finish this. I'm almost done. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Right here is uh, the catfish that just came out of the grease. All together, we got fried chicken, mac and cheese, collard greens, beans, fried chicken, and fried catfish. I'm going to make a salad later. <laughs> I'm drinking me a kale smoothie just for balance. You know, everything's about balance. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> Smart man. Hey, that was the last thing he said. I was like, hey, homie. He's like, hey, you know, I'll be out here Tuesday. <laughs> I was like, hey, ain't, ain't nothing going to be here Tuesday. So I'm going to get ready to pour this. I'm just letting it cool a little bit. Let me give it a little bit of a stir. Let me, oh, let me use this. Don't forget, the side of here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to break up this ham hole. You know what I mean? And I know you guys, everybody don't eat pork. You know what I mean? I like to use everything as far as uh, I like to always put in. For me, I like to smoke turkey parts. You know what I mean? And right. to be exact, I like the uh, the turkey leg. Matt likes the turkey neck. I think I'm going to do a combo. That's you don't really get that much do. meat from the tur turkey neck, but you get the meat from the leg, but the flavor, a little bit more flavor from uh, the neck. From the neck. Man, yep. I can't talk, homie. Yeah, I'm through with you. So I, shot, got, I got your back, man. It's a team effort. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. I'm trying to get it in here, Your but look, let's start right five. here. Look, Matt, I'm gonna need a little bit of your help. I got you. Hold on. All right. My catfish falling apart over here. So. Is it? Whew, look at that right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, and it's Sunday. Soul food Sunday. Soul food Sunday, folks. Oh, baby. Hold on. Catfish. Look at that. Yes, sir. I got you. No flavor left behind. Mm. There you go. All right. Cool. That's it right there. I'm going to cut down some of that ham hump. I'm going to drain just a little bit of this so we don't over. I don't you want me to take the ham hog out? No, you good. I just don't want this to spill. Okay. Yeah. I hate to waste any of it, but gonna otherwise it. you go on the damn countertop. Should pour that over some rice. Oh, my God. Bro. Oh, hey, let, me, let me look at you again, homie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you talk like that? Like, really? Pour that over a little rice. Yes, sir. Good to go. There it is, people. There it is. Hey, that's that chicken and doing. Hey. That's a little Sunday spread for you right there. Look at that right there. I can smell it. Done deal. Make sure you get your cookbook. Best of both worlds. Cookbook.com. Use the code. Free ship. Jamel. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to make that <laughs> work here. Free ship. <laughs> Look, been here all the time. Use the code the free ship. Ain't seen that. <laughs> Use the code free ship. Look at that right and there. And you get yourself Look. a signed cookbook. That's a good spread. Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. Mm. Pour yourself a drink. Make yourself a little Sunday dinner. 
Got you. Hold on. <laughs> oh, just bring it down. Yeah, that video. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Still glistening. Oh man. Burning the shit out of my finger. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna start with. I don't know either. So listen, I gotta say, hey, thank you guys for uh, spending Sunday. Really, this is like Soul Food Sunday. Just spending the day with us. You know what I mean? Uh, those of you guys in here to know, you know, that I went out and ran my car yesterday. I had a great time. Appreciate I'm you still... making the drive back. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. It worked out. Yes, it did. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure you go ahead and grab the cookbook right. if you haven't already. We work, we work super hard on bringing this to, to life for you guys. Uh, it just restocked a couple of days ago. So go to bestofbothworldscookbook.com. Use the code free ship. Get yourself a cookbook for free shipping, and it's going to be signed by both of us. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. Whether you buy a cookbook or not, we appreciate it either way. You guys have been with us for a long time. It sounds like I can I can just hear from some of the comments they've been subscribed to us for a long time. So very thankful for that. And uh, time to eat. Yeah, right. So keeping up with the theme and not over talking it, you covered it all, man. Hey, you know what? Just really thank y'all. We don't say it enough. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people say it, but I'm telling you from both of us, man, uh, that's just what it is. Like, thank you. Uh, just, I don't know how to even say it. Don't know. I feel some kind of way. And then Aaron Jr., if you in here right now, don't trip, homeboy. Hey, you finna make a debut on this channel too, though. Hey, with that being said, Matt finna close it out, and you know what I'm finna do. Peace. I've said it enough. I'm not good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Thank y'all.